Okay, we are live. Hey everybody, to another episode of D&D for Normies, The Price of Progress. Uh, we're on episode four here and we're just ready to go. No announcements, nothing. Um, I am your dungeon master, Zuby, he, him. Um, and I've got my amazing players here. Uh, let's just go around the table again real quick. Let's start with Karenina. Karen, um, not not and no relation to the the literary figure. Um, actually, in personality, very different from the literary figure. Uh, but yes, I'm Michelle, and I play um, the wonderful, um, extremely maternal uh, Karen um, Gemleaf, who is an Emerald Dragonborn. She has decided to come out of retirement, um, exit her upper class suburban life her triplets, and her artificer husband to go basically track down and destroy um, an, a multi-level marketing company that seems to have plagued not only her book club, but it seems to be like most of the people and countries, like people she's met along the way. Um, along her journey, she does meet up with a couple of other cool folks, so I'll toss it over to them. And, uh, Pixie. Uh, hi, I am Pixie Kitten. I am playing Mayor Mill Hillspear. Um, she is a dwarf cleric, and she is uh, out in the world to prove herself. And before we started recording this, I was telling Baltian, there are things about May that you don't know yet. So, <laughs> secretive things. Get ready I like for this. that. I like what this kind of bit. secrets would a cinnamon bun like... <laughs> Like or even have? Yeah, does she? Out. Does she just not recycle? Is that like the? I feel like that's whoa, 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 whoa. not recycle. She does not May separate. Does, no, May does compost. She is, she's hardcore about that. Goes out, out, turns the mulch every few months. For sure. Yeah. We'll see. All right, and last but not least, Baltan. Tony. I, I, I don't, you know, I, me, uh, Baltan, he, him, I, my character, Teller Coast, does not have any crazy, devious secrets, and he yet. definitely composts. Yet. <laughs> it, no, 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 yet. Um, <laughs> I, Teller Coast is a satyr monk who has uh, gone through a period of, you know, academia, then in monk training to you know, hone his mind and body and is now rope went from like just having a good long desired vacation to join on this quest to defeat this um multi level marketing group. Like ooh, <laughs> we're taking disgusting. them down. We're taking yeah. them down and yes. also but not, a not big statue like, back. Yes. Oh yeah yeah the statue thing too. And then also in you know, side side goal of protecting a certain trio of guards that, you know, mm. not actually evil. So, oh, yes. Gilbert, Oro, and Boran. Okay, but oh, like our the Bonfire Boys. The Bonfire. Yeah. The bonfire oh, I'm writing that down. <laughs> the Bonfire, bonfire Boys. It. Because our characters wouldn't know their names. No, you, like, you don't know, but. Yeah, well, like, we never talk to them Bonfire at all. Bonfire Boys, that's it, that's it. Oh, uh, no, no, I... Mind, th 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 that's the name of their little trio, the Bonfire <laughs> Boys. <laughs> We're calling them Bonfire Boys, big time. Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I love and it. I, I forgot to mention, Corinna is also, um, we both go, uh, they, she goes by she, her, I go by they, she, Michelle, the player, um, and she is a barbarian, <laughs> which explains a lot, since she is, <laughs> after all, uh, Corinna. <laughs> Aren't Karens like our real life barbarians anyway? Mm -hmm. Depends on the type, maybe. Yeah. Depends on the type. <laughs> this is why I no longer go to Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so, oh. right? Blood Bath and Body Works, more like Blood it. Bath Ooh. and Body Works. It's very good. That, that, that's the barbarian <laughs> version of <laughs> Bath and Body Works. The fantasy version, yes, for sure. It oh, still man. has a copious amount of glitter in every product. Yeah. I love of course. Yeah, of so course. so when you want to make sure when you're slashing your enemy with your great axe, they get like glitter in their blood so it so when the blood sprays it looks all pretty. 
And it, you don't really get to smell the blood. Like, it's covered with this aroma of cucumber melon. <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh. Ooh. It's fresh. It smells really yes. fresh. It's really nice, actually. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> all, right, all right. We, we got we to gotta make stuff like that. Like Is... Is my axe scented? Is my do do accent? you want it to be scented? <laughs> I... so, so you know how rogues can like uh, cover their like daggers in poison or whatever, like glisten them in poison or whatever. There should be something like that where you glisten your weapons in like some scent. So <laughs> I that... I feel like maybe Karenina started off with like oh what are the other Bath and Body Works smells besides cucumber melon. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it, seasonally, I'm sure there's some pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think she maybe warm start vanilla spice. Warm vanilla spice, a lot of sp yeah. yeah. I think that she's like a spice, a oh spice God. mom. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been so, to Bath and Body Works so many. I can't think of any of the other. I haven't been since I was in middle school, and quite honestly, I don't miss it. It's been a long time since I've been. It's been yeah. a long time. I went yeah. once, like pre-pandemic. Like that was about it. I Why? went. I went right before I, New I Year's. I was bored, and it was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake. My my, my wife was. loves the store, and they've got some manly sense there too that I enjoy. It's I mean, so it's, it's awesome. I mean, and they have a candle section now, but the candles are so expensive. Oh my god! But they smell so good. Yeah, they smell good. It's worth it. <laughs> you know, watch out for anybody with those one star spent... reviews, though. As someone who spent um, money on film genre themed candles, I I can't knock that. Film genre how, how do genres smell? I it's amazing. There's a company named Joya um, that paired up with A24, the the movie studio that made oh. like Minari. Oh, okay, and, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Moonlight, and oh god, what was the horror one? Midsommar. Um, so they made a bunch of different candles for each huh. genre, and I That's have a lot of them because they smell so good. They're for, they're like I'm not proud of how much I spent on this. Wow! But my favorite That's smelling one is noir. Ooh. Ooh, fancy yeah. noir smell. I like it. it. Smells very good. All right, so last time. So we're our... not like starting a game, right? Well, mean, I was that's, just about to. I was just. Oh, okay, okay. It's a noir start. It's a foggy <laughs> evening. On a foggy <laughs> evening, this dame came into my office. <laughs> she had so, legs as long as the Hudson. <laughs> she was saying there was a missing statue, and I'm like, why are you coming to me? <laughs> oh my God, I need help. <laughs> we are so good at this. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> We're going to do a noir episode where it's just like our characters fully noir. Okay? That's happening. Fully, fully just fully wait noir. until we get to the musical episode. Oh, I can't oh. wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Let's do it. I'm down. Oh god, I'm scared. We got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right here in house dynamics. <laughs> oh, I'll god. stop. I'll stop. All right, all right, all right. So last time our adventurers, um, we started off last episode with you all did a little bit of shopping and you met a shopkeep who was also a Christopher Stoll fanatic mm -hmm. and gave you, I think, what is it, volume two of Trapped by a Baron? Was um. Trapped by the the Baron, oh, not just the any Baron. Bear. The Baron. No. Trapped by the Baron Pacific by one. Christopher Stoll, Volume One. Mm. I yes. wrote that it was lightly foxed. Yes. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you all got some adventurous supplies uh, for your little journey to White Peak Citadel, and along the way you came across some goblins that hid a trap extremely poorly. And you all managed to actually may manage to kill most of them. <laughs> I'm a peace domain cleric, okay? Peace domain cleric, you watch out for them. Look, Ooh. you love peace so much, you're willing to kill any uh, you goblins, <laughs> demons, right? and I'm willing to kill for peace, okay? Oh my god, oh, it's like peacemaker. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, so after that little battle, uh, you all started to head on. Oh god, I'm crying. Um, you all started to head forward to the White Peak Citadel and heard some noise before you got there and met our infamous trio, the Bonfire Boys, uh, Gilbert, Oro, and Boran, and made them believe that the now 
banished god Tyrus was talking to them and mm-hmm. kind of scared them and uh, got some guards out to call them basically crazy and managed to scare them again and sort of made them go run away. And as you all went into the White Peak Citadel, you got the two other orc guards there and just basically pushed them down some stairs and killed them. <laughs> With fire. Can't with, the fire. Fire. Get that, with, with fire. With fire. Just walk to crispy orc, you know. Mm. Yes, that is yep. right. There was a lot of fire last session. Yeah. There um, was. And now you are in... You you decided to go downstairs into the Citadel. Because uh, basically the Citadel is basically all but ruined. So there's nothing but downstairs into these caves. And that's where we're going to open it up to where... I think we ended it where Karen, you lit a torch, you were out I in did. front, and we were going to start with... I did, I did sketch a... Uh... Oh, 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 a little soul society. Oh, a little soul society. Yes. You need the pin. If you're in the society, you have the pin, you know. You have the pin. You, you know. know, you know. If you know, you know. Right? <laughs> So I I think we we move forward, yeah? We keep moving. Sure. Um, Sure. But I think, you know, I'd love to make a perception check to see if I can I can hear or anything um, besides what what's up, what I can see in front of me. Sure, roll perception and let me pull up. The one thing I forgot to pull up was all your dice rolls in D D Beyond. I I'm so good at start off very strong because I just rolled a nat twenty. Oh, oh, dang. Whoa. Okay. First nat 20 of the night. Nice. I see everything. Share, share the whole cave structure. You, you even see beyond the walls. I see beyond the veil. <laughs> I look around at me. I see every dark secret. <laughs> so so where, where are you looking exactly? Like, if you can just pinpoint on the map where... Let me scroll this up here okay i guess i'm looking over like at this little clump of rocks uh just in this area to sort of discern can, can you can you click on the screen to sh- show where um uh, can i click on the screen to show where look like you should be able to just like like hold a mouse button down like oh like that there we go boom so th- those clumps of rocks right there yeah these clumps of okay. rocks right here uh trying to figure out like what's up with these entrances and do do any of them seem like they're more well used than others okay okay so um as you get a little bit closer and take a look uh these this clump of rocks is just a clump of rocks um nothing special about them or anything but if you were to kind of look for what may be more well used and maybe a little bit more well traveled it would be this entrance Come on, click on it. Come on, stupid Mac. You're talking to me. I was like, I'm sorry. No, no it's not letting me. All right, do, do you all see that? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, I have to do it for me. So you see a uh, well traveled over here and up here. Come on, stupid. All right, why isn't there? It goes. It, it my I don't know what's going on with roll twenty right now. So th- those are the two entrances that you would see that y- you can see footprints going back and forth on both of those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's me. So um, I guess we move. Cl- I move closer. Mm-hmm. I'm following. Okay. I don't have a choice. Taylor's good <laughs> for a lot of things, but not uh, seem in dark. Leave, I-, I guess. Tell her, goes. <laughs> you can't just. You could just stay there. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to get a little bit closer. All right, so that would reveal if it'll let me. Come on, you stupid Mac. You'll I'm still s- looking yes. at no Bath problem. and Body Works, and there is a scent called Pure Wonder. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that, what does that smell like? I guess we're probably trying to be sort of stealthy as well. Yeah, so, 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 so roll stealth, stealth checks then. Okay. okay. So oh, everyone boy. roll I get a stealth. Oh, oh. one. Or, or or what I'll allow is you can do a, um, like a group stealth check. I rolled a nat twenty. Yeah. 
So Second that 20 one. is a knight. Oh, dang. Okay. Which is great, because I rolled a three. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna allow Maze be, like, the group stealth check then. Um, I, mean, I should have said that before. So you are you all are being extremely quiet as you're going forward, and I just revealed a little bit more in the screens what you see as you get a little bit closer. Okay, so Jeez, should we go here that. to the left or should we go straight? Uh, we're looking for the statue. That's what we're here for. So, I mean, we're underground. Do you think the statue changed size? We know it was really big. It I mean, might also be in pieces at this point. Uh, I don't know. I think the only bright side is that going to the left, we get a little bit more of that light on top of uh, Karen's torch. So that's something, but not that much. I don't know. Sure, let's just do it. We don't know what we're walking into. We'll just, we'll just go up here to the left. And we'll just sort of stealthily okay. go into this area. Okay, so right there. And as you walk over there, you see this area going a little bit further. And then there is another entrance going up oh, there as well, too. So another fork in the road. Yeah. Okay. And, and based okay. on the general perception of it, I'm not even going to have you roll because it's very obvious. Um, both ways have traffic. You can see footprints going back and forth from it. Okay, group, I have an idea. Why don't we all three go a different direction? Yeah, the old splitting the party. There's three I, different ways to go. We could each go one way and then be back up here in ten minutes. I'm sure that couldn't backfire in any number of ways where each of us individually get picked off and overwhelmed by... Guard or I think something. I think immediately Karen turns around and says, "No, <laughs> <laughs> I this it's not okay." To be honest, I don't trust this whole situation, and I this is why they introduced the rope at my son my my triplets pre K. <laughs> Should we tie each? Should we tie ropes to each other? No, the uh, they just oh. had to tell them to hold on to the rope, along with all the other pre-K kids, so that they no, did kind of like a participate, didn't... like joint participation, like leash kind of. Yes, they have to all whenever they go anywhere with their teachers, mm. they all have to hold on to this rope, so they all stay together, because otherwise they'll all go off on their own, and then they'll get. I don't know. They'll, they'll go and do drugs or something. And... Oh my goodness! Wow. I don't know. I don't know what happens to the Incredible. to the toddlers who go off yeah. from the who refuse to hold on to the rope. Dragonborn toddlers. Oh, wow. Drugs. <laughs> okay, so I have another idea. What this is we... just Karen. <laughs> what if we just go left again, and so then we're just going left, left every time. So if we get lost, we just come back and we go right, 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 right. All right, seems about fine to me. Okay, it's all, all I've got. Right. It's all I've got. Okay. Something. All right, and as you go left, yes. I will reveal more. So, as I said, so for people who are just listening here, uh, there are green crystals along the wall that sort of give off this natural light, but the torch is sort of, your torch is sort of overflowing that or, or overpowering that light there. Um and as you get closer, as, as you walk down this hallway, um, what is revealed on the left side is sort of a dead end with a chest there. And this hallway, uh, from what you would see, is just another hallway going a little bit further from the right. It's like labyrinths down here. Should we go check out that chest? But before we do, um, traps. I, yeah. Um, does anyone know how to detect traps? Oh. I'm just, I'm just gonna look at the ground really hard and the walls and the ceiling. Sure. Roll perception. So, so actually, okay. no. If you're doing that, um, if you're actually trying to study it, roll investigation. Okay. 
Can I also investigate? Can I intimidate yes. the chest? <laughs> Just joking. I got a six. Oh, I no. got an eight. What the heck? I mean, okay. Karen, you're more I'll than welcome this. to investigate as well, too, if you want to try. Oh, sorry. Uh, oof. Oh, okay. oh, thank goodness. Okay, we did so Actually, that's that. perception, not investigation. So that's a 16. Sorry. Okay, oh, well, so, so, so I'll, I'll give you a general... So with the investigation, you don't find anything out of the ordinary. But with your perception, Karen, you... As you're sort of looking around, you see this chest in the middle and along the walls, you... From what you can tell, nothing looks out of the ordinary. There's no, like, maybe Karen's first reaction was to look at the floor real quick for traps, because that's just what you all ran into just a couple hours ago. But you don't notice anything, like, nothing out of the ordinary, essentially. Oh. All right. Take out my, um, my axe, and I walk over my great axe. Actually, take out my javelin. Okay. And I walk over <laughs> to the the chest, and I poke it. <laughs> okay. We're terrified. <laughs> Might be a mimic, I don't know. It so as that. soon as you go to poke it, you notice oh, you can't pull the javelin back. It's stuck to it, and we all need to roll initiative here. Oh. It's a mimic, I knew it was a mimic! <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, That's my God. All the I bad really... rolls today. I got wow. three. Nine. All right, let's see what you all got. Tellerkos got a nine. May got a three. And Corinne. Corinne, what's your dexterity modifier? Oh, a negative one. Okay. Yeah, I am not fast. Okay. All right, so the order will go the Mimic first, then Corinne. Oh, no. And Tellerkos and May last. All right. <laughs> so as you immediately try to poke it, it just, like, the tip of the, the javelin just gets stuck. And all of a sudden you see a mouth forming from the chest. And this long tongue just, like, basically take the javelin away from you. Because um, it was sort of at a surprise. And it just sort of spits it off to the side. And oh, it good. is. <laughs> Hold on, I, I need the to. For good. Where is? I need to find my mimic. There we go. It's a giant. Oh shit, that's a huge mimic. Oh. Um. <laughs> whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's so big. <laughs> it's, so it's, like, it's like one of those like um, you know those toys that you drop in your bathtub and they get really big. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is not that big. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the mimic is going to scooch up to Karen there. And it is going to release its pseudopods to try and hit Karen. And try to grapple Karen if it hits it. <gasps> Oof. I don't think an eight is going to hit you at all. No, it does not. No. So, nice. so with it shooting out the javelin off to the side, it... it scoots up to you and tries to hit it with its pseudopods and you manage to just dodge out of the way just in time to then it goes to your turn all right i'm going to uh take a bonus action to i don't think i need to rage here i i feel like i only have one rage left because i don't think we took a long rest right nope. mm -mm. so i only have one rage left i'd rather not squander it but i do take out my great axe and i i try to thwack it all right. I'm guessing an eight does not hit. No, an eight does not hit. It just, ju just out of the whole surprise of it all, you, you try to slash down on it, but you just miss because it's just, it was all very sudden. This is all happening so fast. It, it came to you as a bit of a surprise. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's my turn. I think I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to, no, I'm going to stay in the thick of it. Um... All right. Um, if you're staying where you are, then it is going to go to Tellercoast. It is up oh, to you now. Right. Oh, boy. So, I feel like going in with the quarterstaff isn't necessarily going to be helpful if it has a chance of getting stuck. But then I definitely don't want to 
get into melee with it. So I think Telercos is going to move. Oh, well, let me double check. Ruler. Let's go. Yeah, let's go over here. And Telercos is going to call on his monastic trainee and unleash Breath of the Dragon on Ooh. this mimic. <laughs> Dang it. And what kind of damage are you doing? Uh, well, I have a couple of choices here. So when I take the attack action on my turn, I can replace one of my attacks with an exhalation of draconic energy in either a 20-foot cone or a 30-foot line that's five feet wide. Okay, so I guess I'll stick to a line because then I don't have to worry yep. about risking hitting Accidentally anybody. Accidentally hitting anyone else, yeah. Um, ooh, acid, cold, fire, lightning, or poison. I think... Uh, let's go with the old standby of fire. Okay. So... Yeah. Yeah, so first, um, the Mimic has to make a dex saving throw, DC 12. All right, so you inhale and breathe out a line of fire, and the Mimic does make its dex saving throw, so it'll be half damage. Oh, uh, well, poo. Okay. So you do 2d4. Oh, and I got big numbers, so that's six, so, so that would be three. three. Okay. And are you doing any other movement or bonus action on your turn? Uh, let's see. Bonus action. I think... Where are my bonus? Oh, there they are. Um... Hmm. So I can't do unarmed strikes, so... Um... My speed, yeah, my speed is, yeah. I think after doing that, I will move in range, and then I'll use, I'll spend a key point to do, um, flurry of blows. Okay. Yeah. So roll uh two attacks, two attack rolls. Uh, then... dirty twenty. Dirty twenty hits. Nice. And 11. The 11 misses. Oh. All right, well, one of them got So one of them will hit, so six. six damage. All right. So you, as you breathe that fire and you just clip the edge of it, you walk up and do a flurry of blows. You punch it once and then go to punch it again, but your fist just sort of slid off the back of it. Luckily not getting stuck to it. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. All right, so May, it is now up to you. Um, okay. May is going to um, pull out her quarter staff, and she's she's gonna yell out and run forward and and say, "Father Gimthorn always says a chain is only as strong as its weakest link," and and I'll try to hit and I'll try to hit it with my quarter staff. All right, do it. Roll up and bonk. <laughs> a and nine. nine. Nine's not going to hit. You, you, you're going to just... You were just in such a hurry to get up there, you you run and try to hit it, but just get right behind it. Hey, it doesn't have a head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, I'm... Yeah, I'm not used to hitting things. I'm sorry. Um, And that's it. I'm okay. not going to move away from it. So. All right, it's going to go back to the top of the round where the Mimic, um, it will, let's see who it's going to pay attention to. Okay, it's going to keep its focus on Karen. Makes sense. And it is going to shoot out its pseudopod at Karen again. Oh my god. Um, Would a 13 hit Karen? 13 does yes, hit. Yes, it does hit. Okay. Um. So if the Mimic... In... Hold on, so if the mix is an object for the target, so... okay, so you are now adhere, you're stuck to the mimic as it hits its pseudopod on you, 
and you are going to end up taking... You are grappled by it, and you're going to end up taking eight damage from okay. it. That's fine. Oh, no. I need to um, spend my action making a strength saving uh, strength check, right? Correct. If I want to, okay. Yeah, if you want to. So it is your turn. Sorry. Because uh, that's all it's doing on its I, turn. I is my breath weapon no longer possible because I'm grappled, or am I? Um, um, let me look at your breath weapon here. It says Ancient... when you hit the attack, actually, you can replace one of your attacks with an exhalation of magical energy in a 15-foot cone. I'd allow it because it's your mouth isn't grappled. It's like, you, like your, your, your body is <laughs> grappled. So, yeah, I would say you'd be able to look down and ex exhale this energy. All right, make a dexterity saving throw of 12. <laughs> 12, all right. So when it is grappling, does it get... Is there any other disadvantages or anything? No. Okay. You're. An, I'm not stuck in here Ugh. with you. You're stuck in here with me. <laughs> All right. Roll, roll your damage. I rolled a two on dice. Yes. Okay. I roll one d10 of damage. And this is psychic damage too. It's psychic damage. So I only five. rolled a five, but every bit oh. counts. Yeah. It does. It's true. And are you doing anything else on your turn? Um, can't I? I use my action to do the breath weapon, the breath so weapon, I can't. Yep. I can't uh, struggle, so I just remain. Okay. Stuck. All right. So go on to Teller Coast. You see Karen grappled by this thing. Shoot out one of its pseudopods, and it basically got her stuck right now. Think of it like a like a weird tentacle thing that just latched onto her, and now she's grappled. I wish I wish we weren't in combat so I could take notes on this, but also it mostly just looks like a chest. It's so hard. Um, chest with um, a really scary looking mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that too. Um, I'm going to pull out my quarter staff, and since since for better or worse, she's got its attention. I'm going to try to to smack it upside the lid. All right, so I will say with the three of you surrounding this, um, mm -hmm. you will have advantage on this. Oh, okay, that's good, because I only rolled a 14. A 14 so. will hit. Okay, well, I'll see to if I crit fair, just I'm not games. so much surrounding as I am part of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, true. All right, so um, yeah, you're going to hit regardless. Okay, so... Uh, oh, what is the... I, I know there's a reason for it. What is the other... Oh, the one the one D8 damage? is if you're holding it with two hands. But if you're um, doing that, then you wouldn't be able to do your unarmed strike. Yeah, yeah. One hand's fine. So let's do that. Oh, okay. Eight damage. Eight damage? All right. All right, so you managed to smack it pretty good with the quarter staff with one hand. And are you going to take a bonus action? Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the bonus action unarmed strike. Okay. And spend a key point. So you're doing uh, flurry of blows, or no, no, I I have unarmed strike on top of flurry of blows. Okay, so so, so you don't have just... to spend a key point just for unarmed strike then. Right, but I rolled an eight, so I don't. So think you I'm you getting... do get advantage though. Oh. So you can roll again. <laughs> twelve. So twelve does hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh, four damage. Four damage. Hey, not bad. Oh. All right. So you go smack it with the with the staff, and then you go and just punch down on Ooh. it, trying to get its grip loose off of Karen. Um, and are you moving at all or staying where you're at? Um, I'll, for whatever it's worth, plus it might give me some stuff to take notes of late so I get more 3D look. I'm going to go for the back. Okay, okay, but you're not breaking the adjacency. Okay. No. Alright, so May, it is your turn now. Um, May is getting really angry, so she's just going to try and hit this thing with her quarterstaff again. Okay. So you do have advantage on it as well. Uh -huh. 18 does hit. And I'll okay. have 11 would miss, but you have advantage, so. Okay. Roll for damage. Uh, 
Um, and my damage will be eight. Nice. 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 So that is okay. I know how to math. Let's go. All right. All right. So as you hit it with the quarter staff, you just bonk it again, but this time you don't miss, and you hit it, and it it sort of cries out in pain a little bit. Um, hold on. It is gonna see if it. Nope, doesn't let go of Karen after that hit. Ah. Alright, and are you doing anything else on bonus action or moving? Um, I'm really afraid to, like, use any of my spell slots because we haven't taken a long rest and I don't have that much left. So I'm just going mm. to hold and, okay. and wait. Nobody's, like, dying, so we're Not yet. okay. Just Not awkward. Yet. It's just an awkward situation. It's just like I'm not I'm it's not so upset. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so as long that's... as you're not disappointed. <laughs> that'll be my that'll be my turn. Alright, so on the mimic's turn as it goes back to the top of the round, it is after getting hit twice by Tellercos, you're gonna see another pseudopod eject from the back of it and try to hit Tellercos there to try to grab onto it. Oh, no. Stupid bots. What the stupid... And it misses. You managed to dodge out of the way. <laughs> it's a mimic, not a box. <laughs> right? I've seen these before. And, yeah, it can only attack once. Um, can... Yeah, so it would... No, it wouldn't move right now because it's trying to get all its prey right now. Okay, so that is it for the Mimic's turn after it misses Tellercos and it goes to Karen, who is still grappled by it. I'm going to try to break that grapple. All right, um, do a strength save. All right, I have plus three to strength. Oh my god, I got a five. Unfortunately, that's oh not no. enough. <laughs> oh no. That is not enough to break it through. You, you. So as it's like sort of wrapped around you, you're trying to like get the pseudopod tentacle off you but it just remains too too gripped on you. You're not able to break the grip. And that is your action for the turn. That's my action, and I'm I'm still not going to rage. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh, Emotional no. damage to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Tellercos, it's your turn. After that pseudopod narrowly misses yeah. you. Yeah, what a jerk of a freaking mimic um i am going to smack it with my quarter staff again seems like a winning mm -hmm. strategy all right you're still advantage on it oh good because that's oh there we go 23 oh. 23 will hit right that's a roll damage six damage mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. all right so as and... you hit it with the quarter staff there you notice like almost fails to hold its form for just a split second where it turns into Ooh. this like gooey mess Ooh. but then manages to get back into its chest form oh real quickly that's that's creepy um interesting but very very creepy all right so i'm gonna go ahead and then go with my um bonus action unarmed strike all right Again. you have another advantage on it was that a nat 20 or? No. Oh, that was no. two dirty 20. Oh. Okay. Yeah, dirty 20, dirty 21. Okay, okay. Uh, um, nice. Yeah, roll damage. Six damage. Damn. All right. Again, it looks like it's almost starting to lose form, but then just goes right back to its chest form as you punch it really hard in its back. Keep doing this thing. <laughs> it's also goo somehow. It's weird. All right, May. It's so weird. It is up to you. I'm gonna hit it again with my quarter staff. We're just back and forth. We're just hitting it back, back and forth. With sticks. The staff. Yeah, like some kind of pinata. <laughs> I still have advantage, right? Yep. Yep. So a twelve oh, does okay. hit. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like, I got an eleven and a twelve. Um. So my damage. Oh no. Three. Yeah. So you were. As you're seeing it, like, lose form twice there, it you you didn't hit it as hard because it sort of took you by surprise a little bit, and 
you do some damage to it, but that amount of damage didn't break its form, in a sense. Uh. Um, anything else on your turn? That's it. All right, so after that, let me roll to see if it lost its... Because it is starting to lose. Okay, yeah, you see the pseudopod just suddenly stop wrapping around you, uh, Karen, as you see it's having a hard time holding its form right now. Goody. Yeah, let go. Let go. Um, let me go. I'm saying let go every time I hit it. All right, so on its turn, it is going to... It is going to sort of shift and turn around and face Tellercos. And it is just going to attempt to bite him. Ah. As you see, it's like gnarly mashed, like, teeth. Mm. No bite. Uh-oh. All right, Karen, it is your turn. I'm <laughs> going to... I rolled in that one, <laughs> mother... <laughs> doesn't bite its tongue somehow in the process of trying to get me. <laughs> Alright, 18. I assume that hits. Yes, and if you want to roll again because advantage, you're more than welcome to. Okay, I'm glad I got the advantage because it almost not one. Alright, let's do this. So the 18 does hit. Alright. That is 10 damage. Alright, yes. so how do you want to kill this? I just, I, it lets me go, and then I just turn, and I say, like, and I just don't say anything. I don't really even just, I, this kind of goes, makes me go back to my old adventuring days. And so, like, business as usual, I just grab my great axe, and I swing it two-handed, and I just cleave it in half. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. as you go to cleave it in half, um, as it is making it strike in half, you notice the form just no longer holds and just this pile of goo just falls down to the ground and there's no sense or shape of what was a chest there anymore. It's just a gooey pile. A purpley gooey pile. Ugh. Nudge it with my foot. <laughs> you what? I nudge it with my foot. Does anything fall out? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I was going to no. say, it suddenly grabs you and you become the mimic. <laughs> no! <laughs> All the time. Oh, there's, there's not even a prize. The mimic inside. was the the mimic was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, there's nothing as you nudge it. Oh, gross. Okay, um, so I'm not gonna pick the direction that we go anymore because I'm sorry, that was a monster. Josh, this is exactly worse. what happens. Yeah, this is exactly what happens when you're an adventurer. Don't apologize. Okay. All right, so that is the end of initiative. So we're back to exploring the cave. But you see why now we don't split the party. <laughs> yes. Imagine if I had to do this by myself. Or oh, yeah. Why did any of us being Ooh. trapped by oh little pseudopods? Ugh. Would have been awful. That would have been awful. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, all right. So you all gather back and sort of take a deep breath and just like, all right, well, let's keep going. As you sort of walk away from that, where the mimic was. Which way are you wanting to go? I'm thinking, now that I think about it, where we've seen them so far, um, maybe the glowing stones are pointing us where to go. Yeah, I think we should follow the glowy stone bits. Because there's that one at the bottom, but I th since we saw how well-worn this one path was here, I think that might be where we go. I, I, that's my suggestion anyway. Well, I'm fine with trying that. So am I. Let's, yeah. let's do it. Okay. All right. So let me oh, reveal. Come on. There we go. So as you get there, uh -oh. it's gonna reveal. Hold on, I'm not done. It's gonna reveal okay. <laughs> okay, what like, looks oh, like da -da. what looks like an entrance. And as you peer down that hallway, you notice there is the cave is starting to slant downwards <gasps> as you get down there. We continue. We're going. All right. So as you all continue downwards, um, there will be what 
we call in the video game industry a loading screen. <laughs> we suddenly see a spinning circle in the dark. <laughs> As I have to get the other map ready. Remember uh, not to turn off the D&D game while file saving. We need Very bad. Games. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> At first I'm like, wait, what are you talking <laughs> about? The D&D game? <laughs> Da, 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 da. All right, is that too big? Yeah, that's too big. <laughs> ah, I gotta. Uh... I guess we right. chose the right way. Yeah, I think that I think that Telecos had the right of it. Sure. All right, so you're still doing the same marching order: Karen in front, May in middle, Telecos behind. Mm -hmm. And I still can't figure out the permissions thing, so. Hold on, I am almost done here. Oops, no, your name is not May. It is... What the hell? The okay. name of our person is What the Hell. <laughs> I look forward to defeating them in battle. <laughs> I shall destroy you, What the Hell. That what it, the hell. That, that, what that's, the, that's the BBEG. <laughs> Bow before What the Hell. Okay, so as you all are going down the cave here, it's probably about like two to three minute walk to get mm -hmm. to where you get to a flat area and surface. And let me change the screen for you all. <gasps> and assuming you all are still going stealthy. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you get down there, um, I need you all to roll me perception checks. Oh, <gasps> perception. 17. Oh my. A 7, 19. 17, 19. All right. I'm terrified. Okay. All right. So as you... Here, let me reveal what you will see. So you, as you get down, blue crystals. Yes, now Ooh. it's blue crystals that are em emanating some light. But as you all uh, come down here and start looking, uh, May, you're probably just looking at the crystals or something, or maybe the crystals that are like right here. Mm -hmm. Ugh, stupid! I don't know why roll twenty is being done. Yeah, like right here. Um, what you notice coming from here from the north, it looks like there is competing torchlight coming from the north. Um, oh. As you can tell, like, your torch is obviously emanating from, like, about here, but you can tell there's another light source that's fire. You can assume torches coming from up here as well. You don't notice anything from over here in terms of any kind of other light source. I douse my torch. Okay. Because I don't want them to see our torch mm -hmm. okay so that will dampen a little bit of the area as soon as you do that we'll just put it about and God, i really wish i had dynamic lighting i just it's about right here we'll see like sort of dampens it out and i think we make our way to that north passage yeah mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. All right, and I need you all to give me another group stealth check. Ooh. Hey. Oh, that's that's a one. It's not oh. a nat one, but it's a one. I got an Ooh. 11. So you're doing the heavy lifting here. Okay. Corinne, like, sneezed or something. All right, so it's like both opposite <laughs> sides I, of the spectrum here. I yeah. drop um, my axe. <laughs> all right so hold on one second uno momento poor favor and duplicate and... okay um you hear a voice um, say something, and it is a language that none of you all understand. 
and you start to what sounds like here is someone walking um, from the north here because the steps are pretty loud because from the north there's you don't really hear any sound or anything like that going on. What are you all doing? Mm. As the footsteps are getting closer. They're coming towards us? The footsteps are coming towards us? Yes. Um, oh, shoot. Start shoot. to the other path, maybe? Yeah. Do we retreat? Go backwards, maybe... Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I pick up a rock, and I'm gonna throw it down the other way, and I'm gonna have us like try to sneak backwards. Okay, okay. get up. Give me a, I guess, an athletics check on that. Sure. I have a plus five to athletics. Ooh, that's a thirteen. <laughs> well, hey, that that's good enough. So you went you went ahead and threw a rock over here on the other side. Yeah, in the part that we can't see. Okay. Okay, so then you all are going to start running back? I think we just sneak back very slowly. <laughs> okay. So as you do that, um, and as you all move your characters, you see a goblin, a single goblin, come out and start saying something in a language you all don't understand. You can assume it's goblin um, language, because it sounds similar to what you've heard um, goblin. From, from others. And you see him sort of look around for a few seconds starts walking down over here to the path you can't see. Doobie, is it literally goblin? Yeah. I, I can understand goblin. Oh, you can now? Yes, I can. Okay, okay. So yeah, you, you when he first said something, um, he just said something like, oh, what was that noise? And goes to go down and and he basically says like, who's throwing rocks around here? And then he just goes to walk off. Of course, Tellercoast okay. is the only one who can understand that. I don't think... Yeah, Karen and May, you don't understand Goblin. No. Okay. Yeah, Goblin was one of those things that was like, oh yeah, I took a course in Goblin way back when I leveled up. Yeah. Okay. And then a few minutes go by, and then you see the Goblin just sort of travel back up to the north. Okay, I think we're probably good. Hopefully. Let's try this again. So let's stealth, I think, yeah. Okay, do another yeah. all of you do a stealth check again. Oh gosh. Sixteen, I oh, think. Sixteen, <laughs> sixteen, and eighteen. A hey. We got there. You're all good. You all basically don't make a noise at all, so um yes. move your characters where you wanna be and so basically where you were at before. Okay. So based off of some of just the light that was coming down from there, you can see this passage go up straight to the north. And then you also see from the natural lighting from the crystals, you see what looks like to be two other passages, another fork in the road. Mm. Oh, this is tricky. So what are the odds that that area further up is just like, you know, a station or something, and then one of the other paths is the way that we go? Hmm. Or, or are they guarding something? It could be that, too. Well, we could always just split up. No. <laughs> oh, go okay. and and like I'm new convince to them to give us information. We could do that. Sure, maybe we can just talk to them. I meant more like, oh, you know, threaten them, they... but oh, that works okay. too. Okay. Well, those are both options. Mm -hmm. I I mean, at least we could try to sneak up there and see what we can and then yeah uh yeah i'm okay with that yeah let's at least try to sneak i think we go where the goblin came from and do our s stealthy best yeah do we still do we do we still see the um torchlight 
yep. that was there before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You still see the torchlight. Um, mm-hmm. So, as you all are getting closer, is, it, is all three of you going over there? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. All right. I need you all to roll me stealth checks. Again. Hey. 22. 22. Oh. Ah, oh, babe. <laughs> So as you all, especially Karen would be, uh, from your angle, you'd be able to see, oops, that hides it. Let me reveal it. So Karen, from your angle, you'd be able to see a firelight and see three goblins from there. And if you were to try to peek over, like sort of your head, you'd be able to see this so it looks like to be about five goblins and an orc and as you all walk over there may sort of trips over one of the rocks and they all look up towards to where you all are Uh oh suddenly looking how what are you all gonna do as they're all they they, they don't see you they they don't see karen because she's the closest one but they're all their eyes are all fixed on that passage right now so it gives you like Couple seconds here. What you all want to do? <laughs> oh boy. Um, um, I I say back away. See if we don't have to get into this um, encounter. I I motion to May. May, do you have to be able to see the bo- the fire in order to make a bonfire? <laughs> no, I can create a bonfire. Well, hold on. It might be a line of sight thing, though. Hold on. Let me look. Yeah, it up. I think that might be a line of sight. Yeah, because it's, it's you create a bonfire on ground that you can see within range, so she would have to see it. Okay. Do we have time for you to come up to me and then cast the bonfire, and then we run the other way while they're distracted by the bonfire, or should we just go in guns blazing? I would say you'd probably only have about 15, 20 seconds. I mean, 15, 20 seconds I can, is I can... totally enough. Yeah, and I can even make a bonfire 60 feet from where I am, just, like, straight ahead of me. You could do that, too. Instead of, like, on top of the bonfire they already have. So it's not really a bonfire. I wouldn't say bonfire, per se, just, like, a small campfire, because they have torches and sconces along the wall as well, too. Okay. Um, it's not, like, a huge fire that's roaring or anything like that. Yeah, I just don't think we can pull off the I am your god thing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Um, I'd love to see it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I know, right? oh, I'm going shoot. to use my create bonfire and make a bonfire appear 60 feet away from where I am. Just their Actually, direction. If you, if you put it here, like, right here, and how big is the bonfire? Um, it, I think it's, it fills a five foot cube. Okay, so just one of these. Okay. Yeah. Because I was thinking, like, if it's big enough, we could just close off this whole section, but it doesn't seem like it's big enough to do that. No, no, because yeah. unless you all knew the bonfire can trip, you could do yeah. that because it's, it's a concentration, concentration, she can only do it one five foot cube at a time. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'll just That'd be really cool, here. though. Well, I like that you, idea. Can you... Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can't see this guy. Because I was like, what if you set that one on fire? I mean, I can put it... Can you put it on right a person? next to them. I guess I can, I can scoot up. They've already, like, heard a noise, but I don't want to be visible. Yeah, you can hide behind me, and then you mm-hmm. can just put the... It right here, maybe like between these two. Yeah, I guess if I can try to set it on one of them in the same square as one of them, that's what I'll try to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think maybe this one or this uh, one. that one. That one's blocked too much because I've got a ruler to check it out. That one's blocked too much by the cave walls. She okay, could so kind of, she yeah. can kind of sort of get that one. Yeah. Okay, I I'm think this try one. to set it on top of that one. Okay. Uh, can you draw out the the bonfire again like you did before? Suddenly fire. <laughs> um, yes. How did I do that? It I mean, was under the, the brush. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so it needs to do a dex save based off your okay. spell save, which is 14. Oh, no. Oh, it's 12. That's it's right. It's got its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, roll your damage. It's going to take damage. Ooh. Um. Okay, it's 1d8. Too many monitors. Four. So how much? Four? Four. Mm -hmm. All right be on fire though yeah yeah it's gonna be on fire and all of all of a sudden you know the goblin jumps up as it's on fire like screaming out in pain and oh, it's hard. the you see the orcs and the goblins just sort of rush to its aid what are you all doing as it's starting to surround and try to put it out uh, uh we run the heck the other way i think we should run maybe this way Okay. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Like, I'm following current. So, yep. Same. Okay. Bye, loser. All right, so as you <laughs> are doing that, um, I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay. We're just running blindly. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> as you are kidding. going over there... Just based off the natural lighting, you see a path going up there, path going there, and a path going down based off the lighting. I'm just following uh, Karen. Karen, which way are you going to go? This is sort of happening pretty fast as, as you're running down the halls. And the, the only thing that you're able to really see is this natural light. And you see what looks like to be one, two, three other ways to go and it's I don't know I, would this be overwhelming to Karen right now because it's just sort of like <laughs> it's overwhelming I would like to make a perception check if I have the sure. time okay sure do it at disadvantage since you are in a hurry right now mm -hmm. okay I got a seven seven okay um if you're trying to perceive like where m maybe or what are you trying to perceive exactly uh, same thing, like, is there a better, is there oh, like, okay. a well-traveled path? Um, for, with a seven, you can't really tell, and mm -hmm. it's mainly due to you running away and just trying to find a quick place to hide right now. Could I, um, do the same check with disadvantage? Yes. Okay. So you'd have to move Tellercoast closer to Karen. Oh, okay. Okay, so my, my lower is 12. I mean, the, the only thing from what you can tell, um, as far as any kind of well-traveled path, is not exactly well-traveled uh, to the north and to the south as well. Nothing over to the oh. east. Okay. Wait, so, so north or south, maybe, but not east? Yep. Okay. okay. Um, then, let's just, yeah, I'm just going to... Follow her south. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me reveal at the same time. I'm getting around a corner. And you see what looks like to be another fork, but one that's sort of covered in rocks there that'd be very rough terrain, and one that mm -hmm. sort of goes around that way. Uh, yeah. How is Teller Coast over rough terrain? Because uh, I'm fast like you know i have a decent walking speed i don't think i have anything that explicitly helps with okay because i would i was like i could just pick may up and fly uh well yeah. i have my broom if that would work over this it hovers five feet off the ground okay i can i pick teller goes up and fly yeah yeah the the, the roof's high enough if that's what you want to do all right, okay. us, we're going for a ride. <laughs> okay, I'm hopping on my broom. Um, we're going okay. over Okay, so as, as you all run down to this south passage, um, trying to get over this rough terrain, um, I'll reveal it in a second here. Whee. There is someone trying to figure out where you all went. You all can, even though you all can see this on the roll twenty map, you don't, you don't exactly see him. Your characters don't. Do do we hear that like uh, somebody okay, has? Dude. No, you, yeah. you you all are running and it, it's you'd okay. have to you'd have to essentially stop and then pay attention. Gotcha. Oh, okay, fair enough. Not, so so not what you see as you're flying over, um, Whee. 
you see some boxes down here and what looks like to be a dead end. Oh no! Uh, uh, curses. Wild. Boxes. I mean, How boxes can hold how things. How big are the boxes? Could the... we get inside them? Um. May would? Ma- three... May would? Tellercos would have a really hard time, and Karen definitely not. Okay. <laughs> May would have the easiest time to get in there if you were to open it up and try to get in. And these these boxes take up, you know, a five foot cube and all that, but. They're, they're all, they probably only come to maybe, like, Tellercoats. How tall are you again? Because, Corinne, you're, like, six-something, right? It's eight. Six, eight. Yeah, so, so for Corinne, it'd probably come feet. to, like, maybe your belly or something like that. So it definitely... <laughs> like, no. Like, no. <laughs> no, this okay. is not happening. So, so t- t- Tellercoats would be a very tight squeeze. May, you'd be able to okay. get in there. So we know we're cornered here. Maybe we just, like hunker down and wait to see if we're being pursued maybe and we can also at least see what's in the box maybe there's somebody. for all we know maybe there's like a bunch of bombs or i mean not that we want to blow up a bunch of stuff while we're I, underground I take my but... javelin out and i poke it i poke a box <laughs> oh, no. here we go again as, well, here we go. as you suddenly poke with the javelin Uh-oh. and you hit <laughs> the box it's just some wood. Um, it just, oh, thank you God. Know, you, okay. you, you, you make a little dent in the box with your jacket. Right, I poke the other box. <laughs> I poke the other boxes. <laughs> Same thing happens. Okay, great. Awesome. <laughs> um, the, the, you you, you all just make slight dents in them. I have a little bit of trauma from like one of my DMs. <laughs> oh, no, no. That, that's okay. That's okay. This is like old, old dungeon D&D stuff. All right, I'm gonna uh, tell it, Chris. If you want to try that box, I'll open this box. Okay. Yeah. Um, do we need to? Do I need to roll for box opening? No. Um, they're. It's. They're a little bit. They're not locked or anything. You, you feel they're a little bit tough to open, but you can easily just get them open. It, it's not very hard. You do okay. see that they they could be potentially locked, but none of them are locked right now. And. Okay. Is that where you all are staying? Just opening up the box and looking? Uh, yes, for now. Okay. Yeah, I think so. And then bombs come up. No. Um, so as you open up the the boxes, all three of you um, see what looks like to be Panacea in a Bottle samples in these <gasps> boxes. Oh. Um, Karen, as, you're, it, as you quickly look... Um, some of, you're pretty familiar with the generic names of Panacea in a Bottle, like, you know, the ones that cure headaches and colds and all that, the, essen- or the, the essential oils ones. But I the, find the ones that cure cancer. <laughs> well, no, 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 but these, none of these names you recognize. Um, some of the names are like Cassia, Cardamom, Rosemary, Nutmeg, Basil. And your mind may start clicking, like, oh, are these just, you know, using spices or herbs? Or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, I want seasoning something. I want all of you to, if you're all looking at these, because I mean it's they're pretty noticeable, and with the light, you're you have enough light to be able to look at them. Uh, mm-hmm. Give all of you give me either a nature or medicine check. I'll make a medicine hey, check. Nature Seven. for me. Eight. Twenty one. Uh, oh, Telegos, yeah, you got this. 21, okay. Expertise in nature. 27. Oh, damn, oh, nice. 26. Had to show me up. Had to. Well, Sorry, okay. So, at, so as you're looking at the bottles, uh, Corinne, you don't really notice this because <laughs> maybe you're just getting infuriated by just seeing other kinds. <laughs> but but Tellercos and May, as you're looking at the bottles, you, you notice there's some ingredients listed. And... One of the ingredients, you know, they, they they list, you know, some basic chemical compounds, uh, you know, the spice of the name of the bottle, like cassia, cardamom. Um, but one of the ingredients that really sort of shocks you is thallium. And both of you know that thallium is a very slow-acting poison. 
if taken in large doses. And Karen, or not Karen, um, sorry, May, give me a... What kind of check would this be? Give me a wisdom save. A wisdom save. Okay. Oh, God. I rolled a two, so I got an eight. Okay. So as you're looking through this and noticing a lot of these bottles are looking extremely familiar and you're, you're getting a bit sad and frustrated right now as you recognize these bottles from... You didn't look at the ingredients at the time, but when you went to the town of Derna to try to save the mayor's son, Averuk, you noticed that they had these kind of bottles around the house. And that that sickness that he had, it sort of clicks to you that he was being slowly poisoned, and that's why none of your magic was working. Corinne. Corinne. Yes? Huh? This, yes. this what? is poison. This is poison. These what? bottles are poison. I know they're poison. They're from the no. Damn, they're like, oh. literally poison. There's literally poison in them. We we have we have to destroy them. These these are poison. There's poison in here. I've seen these before. Well, that's easy enough. And... I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start breaking the bottles. I I'm just gonna. Throw I take them out on my. Oh. I um. I I just yeah. I just start. I guess I could start breaking the bottles. I feel like that's what Karen and a, what Karen would do. She would start breaking the bottles. Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else would like to do perception. I I agree not, about destroying really, them, but May is very like upset. it will be noisy. In case May, May is really upset. She's everyone roll a perception check. Oh man, okay. 11. 21. So Tellerkos does not notice this, but May and Karen, as soon as you're about to go to start smashing some bottles, because May, I will say, like, this is pretty emotional for May right now because all of a sudden mm -hmm. it's just these floods of memories and feelings are like pouring back into you. And you're also feeling a little bit vindicated as well. Like, like I wasn't going crazy. There was something wrong, you know. But you, you never thought to look at the bottles that they had all around, like what they were trying to use to cure him or anything. Um, but as soon as you're, so both of you, Karen and May, are about to smash that, you see the, something out of the corner of your eye, and you see a goblin holding a short bow, holding up a short bow at you all, and let's all roll initiative again. Ah! The good thing is he won't get a surprise round on you all. <laughs> Yay. It's 12. Eight. Oh man, all low. Alright, so uh, Tellerkos got an 8, Karen got a 7, and May got a 12. So it will go with the Goblin first, oh, no. Pixie second, then Baltan, then Michelle last. Okay. Alright, so as this Goblin, you all were being pretty loud as soon as you were opening up the boxes, so it was able to easily tell what, which what <laughs> which direction y'all were coming from. Um, he's going to hold up his short bow and essentially try to shoot May since she was being one of the loudest. And would a 16 hit May? It will. Yes. Okay. And it will do three damage to you. As it just gets you in the shoulder. And then it will proceed to run away. Five. Hold on. Let me do the little ruler. Run away? <laughs> oh, it needs to tell its buddies. Oh, no. So Don't. it's going to... You don't need to, to tell your buddies. No one needs right, to gonna know. It's going to go up there. It's going to run up here. Um... And then that's going to be it for its turn. Uh, May, it is your turn. Okay. Um, can I... This area is difficult terrain here. Correct. But 
my guiding bolt has a hundred and twenty foot range. Can I cast that over the difficult terrain without any problem? Yep, yep. As long as you have line of sight, you can. Okay. Um. Nice straight line. Tool. It seems like I do. Do yeah. Do I? No, okay. you do. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I don't know. I let's see. I can't figure out how to see how far away I am from stuff. Oh, it's the ruler. The ruler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's right below the magnifying like, glass. Here, I'm I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm well within 120 feet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to use my guiding bolt and try and blast this thing off the face of the planet. All right, roll to see if you hit. <laughs> You'll love to see it. <laughs> 18. 18 will hit as it's as you're hitting its back. Um, is, you, yes. Yeah, roll your damage. Is Guiding Bolt where you got to choose what kind of... Oh, no, no. It's just Radiant it's Damage. It's Radiant okay. Damage. No, I was thinking of what? Witch Bolt or something? 19? 19. Holy crap. So as you, you, you just sort of like bullseye right there. You, you're, you're like the, the gunslinger of clerics. As, as you hit this thing, it just falls down dead. A one <laughs> shot, baby! It's like one of those. You remember the um, that movie with the bullets that curve? Oh, <laughs> wanted. I think it was wanted. wanted yeah, oh. it was wanted. Yeah. This, we, Mythbusters disproved that one, but I like to think that's what happened here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it. It. The. The. The rocky train was in the way a little bit, but it just sort of absolutely curved over and boom. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <gasps> dead. Okay. And you I'm easily just... see that it's dead too. Um, More we're, body we're... count for the peace domain cleric. All right, we're still going to be an initiative here. Um, oh. So, May, it is still your turn. Um. I'm going. To, I'm not going to do anything else. Okay. I'm just standing there, breathing heavily. All right, Tellercos. It's your turn. All right. So I want to move over there. So it gets, so it's like about 23. And then from there. Can you, do you have something, you have something you can move over rough terrain, right? I Don't like, you? I could jump if nothing else. And that would definitely help. Um, I couldn't find like, where is it now? Oh no no, it's mirthful leaps. So that's what it. that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. You've got goat feet. Come on. Yeah, that's why I thought that you had automatic. I I know. I, Apparently, I'm too used to like mm. forest party life and you got soft. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a little bit. <laughs> you lost your sure footing. <laughs> but I think I think. Let's see. So I'd be able to get close to it because I don't need to be on top of it. Like yeah, if the you, difficult it, terrain you, you, you basically like have to dash. Much. Yeah, you, you basically have to. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I can just is yeah. dash for me. Um, so a it, key point or yeah, if you if you want to dash as a bonus action, it'd be a key point. Um, oh, I can just do a regular action dash, right? right? I don't yeah, need without, to without burning a key point. Yeah, I'll I'll do that because I'm not anticipating a battle, but this way I can be like, I can come over here and I guess I'll do a perception check, see if there's anybody following our now dead Gabo. Sure. Okay. Ooh, cool, too. So that's a six. Nope, you don't <laughs> notice anything. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, I... Karen. That's it, can I pick up one of these boxes? You can, yes, but you okay. would you would not be able to dash like if if you were to try to run, you'd still have your movement speed, but if you were to try to dash as well, it'd just be half the movement. If that oh, makes sense. Because I'm encumbered. Okay. Yeah. It's very heavy. All right. In that case, um. So. Just, yeah, because it's all glass bottles. bottles in there. It's all glass bottles. So oil is very flammable. I'm thinking in combination with 
May's fire setting abilities, we might be able to like make some kind of Molotov cocktail situation. Oh man. Okay. So I that would... can I roll to see how many so I explained this to May and I I can I see how many oil bottles I can pick up? I don't know how big they are. The, are they're they... probably like I don't know, like maybe like that big or so. Around okay, that's enough. And that's all that, enough. but but there's like a lot of them in there, though. That's what all makes right. it so heavy. Um, what should I roll to see how many I can pick up? Not sleight of hand. So for you, because you, you want to be able to know like how many you can hold in your. Hold yeah, how many once, can right? I grab so that way we can like s throw them and set them on fire? Roll a uh, roll two d twenty. And that'll be the amount that you can hold. Two twenties. Two twenties. That's exactly twenty. Twenty. So you, <laughs> you're you're able to hold exactly twenty. Wow. Okay. Not um, bad. And then I, I tell May like, okay, so I'm gonna throw these at them, and then hopefully you can set them on fire. Um. And they all have to be really really close together. Yes. Uh, so what I do is I'm going to put them... Uh, my plan is to, like... Because they're over here. My plan is to put them here. Like, if we can sneak them over here. And then... Okay. Make, make can, like, like, a wall of fire? Set them on fire. Make, like, a wall of fire. Like, okay. di we're DIYing a wall of fire. This is what we do at level three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we okay. don't have that spell yet. No. We don't. All right, so, 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 so we're still in initiative, so you're going to have to do that all in your... Yeah, I'm oh. gonna I'm Where? gonna be doing that as quickly as I can. So I'm going. So, so, to... so with you holding now, you can dash normally. I'm gonna dash. Okay. So let me see. Okay. I have sixty. So what is that? Yeah, I can make it over there. Okay. Do it. I make it over there. I dump my bottles on the ground. Okay. All right, and then you're done with your turn. It is gonna go to the top of the round. Because May just freaking sharpshooter over there. <laughs> okay. And Curves her spell. There. <laughs> right. There. Whispers its name. Whispers the goblin's name to her I spell. Know it's true. So it <laughs> seeks it out. <laughs> it's yes. like when you write someone's name on a bullet. It's like. All right. You happen you. to see two goblins coming down from the north there. And they are running over here. And they see the bottles on the ground. But since they dashed on their turn they can't do anything else mm -hmm. for their turn so it will go to may it okay. is now your turn okay i want to get as far as i can and then try and create a bonfire so for so you I you would have to action dash and you wouldn't be able to cast bonfire this turn i can't get far enough okay what's your my movement is 25 feet. So you'd be able to get, yeah, right there. Okay. That's totally fine. You can just get there, and then your next turn, um, yeah. I can fend them off. If Telegris wants to join me, that'd be great. Yeah. But, I mean, Tactics. The, the majority of them are still over there, and I can try to push them. Okay. We can even push them into the fire. Sure. We love pushing monsters. It's, it's what we do. <laughs> it it kind do. of is. Yeah. <laughs> We're all about the shoving. Yeah, That's right. You, you you didn't grab any bottles. It was just Karen, right? I did not okay. grab any bottles. Just making sure. Um, all right. So you did a dash, and that's it for your turn. And it'll yep. go to Tellercos. Okie dokie. So Tellercos. So Tellercos is so, moving like up. Night. Very crafty. We're very DIY here on Rise of Progress. <laughs> I love it. We can't make a certain spell happen. Especially when you don't magic. have any wizards either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me double check something. The bottles that you just dropped are here in yeah. front of you. Oh. Yeah, could, could you draw something? Like, where where do you place them on the, uh, on the map? Yes, let me draw a circle. Okay, great. So, I'm sorry, there. that looks like a really <laughs> unfortunate pair of spectacles. Oh, I was thinking bow tie. Or, or a snow person. 
Who's yeah, I guess a snowbird. <laughs> a really unfortunately um, done snow person. <laughs> All right, so I'll try to think, is it, do I want to, like, do I want to come up to them entirely or like kind of stand over here and then help goad them towards the fire and then let them yeah, I, th I think that's that makes the most sense. So I'm going to come up here. And, and... and remember, you can ready any actions as well, yeah, too. Exa that is exactly yeah. what I was going to do. I was going to ready an attack um, Should they if they end you. up coming into range, okay. yeah. Well, and um, they're going to take a turn before I make the fire, before my mm -hmm. turn. That's okay, because if they come close enough, we can push them backwards, and then, bam, they're on sure. fire. Yeah. Good plan. Um, yeah, Talk yeah. To uh, shoving. <laughs> shoving, yes. That um that's that's right. uh that's it for me. I love it. I love We're it. Okay. Pro. So Karen, it is your turn. You you've dropped gonna, all the bottles, right? I've dropped all the bottles. I'm gonna ready okay. an action. I'm going to um have my great axe out and I just look at them. Okay. I just give them my sternest mom look. It's like Okay. They run away in fear. All right. Don't F with me. <laughs> All right, so he's going to go to the top of the round. No. Okay. Yeah, if only I could have carried you and the bottles. It's okay. All right, so... I feel like it's I need gonna... to make like a Bjorn, like a baby Bjorn for me. Oh. <laughs> 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 Poor May. She's, no, she's, she's a grown adult, but it's like. <laughs> it's so useful to help you with this spell. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast some spells like from the Bjorn. <laughs> the Bjorn, yeah. I love it. Okay, was it, there's a never mind. There, there's some League of Legends character that's like that, riding a Sasquatch or something, and casting oh, spells on top of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah can't think of the name um it's just the image i have like karen's fighting with the great axe and then may's behind like guiding bolt guiding bolt guiding bolt <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so to the top of the round with the goblins there is one other goblin that dashes down here and that's as far as it can get um mm -hmm. these two goblins they <laughs> see the bottles and they're just gonna step over them and they're both going to move here, yeah. so that will trigger yeah. some attacks here All right. uh, yeah. for some readied actions. So, yep. uh, Telerco, since you readied first, you'll technically do yours first. Okay, so let's see, my reaction... And you're going after the one right here? The, the one that's uh, yes. closer to you? Okay. Alright. Um... Oh, okay. So, I guess, um, I guess it would just be a quarter staff attack, right? Like, I can't, yeah, I can't, you, you don't get your I can't bonus action. of blows no. and all that nonsense. Yeah, no, no, all right, you, so. you only get a regular attack action. Because oh. this is technically a reaction going on. Um, yeah. So, 17 would hit. Okie dokie. Six damage. Six damage. All right. You mm -hmm. severely injure that goblin. Right oh, there. Okay. yeah. Um, and then Karen, the other one, you get you get the choice of which one you want to hit. You just saw Tellerco's bonk that one right on the head, and you've got... <laughs> both gonna... of them came up on you. And Oh, sorry. I just... How do I undo that? Control Z. Oh. <laughs> F. Uh, F's in chat. F's in chat. Sorry. That's all right. Just move this over here. That's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to push him back over the um, bottles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you attacking or pushing? I am pushing. Okay. Okay. So do a... Or kicking or something. So do an athletics check. Okay. And it will try to save against that. Are you kidding me? It's an eight. Well, oh. Let me see. I'm these goblins. Ooh, the one time I roll a nat twenty. Um, you, oh, you're able nice. to kick. You, you try to kick it, and then it grabs your foot, 
and <gasps> somehow this goblin's stronger than you pictured, and it, it just sort of shoves Whoa. your foot down. I think it's I think it's just the <laughs> a, the angle, maybe like <laughs> gets me at that angle. And, and you you can oh, tell that this goblin here has like bigger guns than mo- most other oh. goblins. You're just like. It just says some. I begrudgingly respect this goblin. (laughs) This goblin says in in goblin, like, do you even lift, bro? Oh, (laughs) you mean, do you even lift, mom? I uh, I I translate for I translate for Karen. Oh, okay. I I I growl at it. Oh man! So so that was your reaction. So they're. So it's still their turn. Um, that goblin that grabbed your leg, it's now going to try to grapple you, Karen. Oh, um, it, <laughs> This goblin is feeling the, strong. Th- this goblin's feeling like, you know what? Yeah. Gonna push your leg. Ooh, all right. You got to beat a 17, so do a strength save. <laughs> this goblin's oh, strong. Man. 18. Oh, I don't dang. Oh. So I don't close. So. Damn. Damn. <laughs> So, no. so this goblin just no. sort of, like, actually sort of, like, so since it's not tall enough to, like, you know, be able to grab your shoulders or arms or anything like that fully, it, it's sort of, it's trying to, like, grab your leg and then try to, like, body slam you down, and it almost gets there. You, you almost feel yourself tripping, but at the last second... I use my core. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at, 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 at the last <laughs> second, at the last second, you use your core to be like, uh-uh, hell no, and just shove them back yeah. off oh man i'm still so on one foot this whole time <laughs> just trying to move my foot but i'm like the combination of the balancing in yoga and the core strength of pilates i'm able to stay up the the other goblin is he's right next to this sort of looking at it like oh shit um i'm just gonna take my sword and and poke the goat man <laughs> whoa oh. oh and a 19 to hit 19 Teletrip. fucking hits Dang. Um, that is a 1d6. Okay. Not too much damage, though. Just 5 damage. Okay. Ow. Ah. And, um, so that is it for the two goblins. Yeah, the other goblin dashed, and it goes to May. Um. I I was wondering if I, as a free action, I could talk to the goblin. (laughs) On your turn, you can. On my turn? Okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, move forward because I didn't see any of that. No. <laughs> no. You didn't I'm see this like strong that, ass goblin. Th- this buff ass run, goblin, you too. You see this goblin holding my foot. <laughs> 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 he, he, he's, okay. got, he's got shoulders for days. He, he's got the <laughs> invisible lat syndrome where he can't close his arms all the way. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like looking at him and I'm like, wow, he's buff. He lifts. <laughs> this one works out. Okay. So I'm going to come around the corner and then I will um, cast my create bonfire and I'm going to do it right over top of where I see the bottles. Oh, damn. Okay. So how are we going to do this? So do I need to do the regular Okay, okay, so it's going to explode. The bonfire is going to go down, pff, explode it. Yeah. Um. Actually, I will need all y'all except May to roll a deck save, because you two are kind of close to the bottles as well, too. I can... I have a, I have um, advantage on dexterity, uh, dex saving throws, so I'm okay. excited. Oh, nice. And tell her I have plus five to dex saving, so... 17. <gasps> okay. All right, so you two are good. Um, you're only going to take Damn. half damage. Yay. <laughs> um, the goblins? So so May, go and roll the bonfire damage, and then I'm going to figure out um, for all this oil damage, too. It's, oh, shit. I rolled a one. Okay. So both so, the goblins oh, fail. Just, um, so there actually just making the bottles there, right? <laughs> There were yes. 20 bottles. All so, 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, cause... the bonfire's damage times 20. Um, so... Roll 4d6. Roll 4d6. Okay. 24. 24. 
Five, eight, four. Get away, you little bug. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Not bad. So, okay. so, so, Tellercos and uh, Karen, you'll take uh, half damage. So that's what seven. Yeah. 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 Um, Owies. Get away, little bug. Where'd you come from? Um, these two goblins. Um, they're sort of. Um, shall we say? I need both of you to also roll. No, you rolled the deck save, so you're able to get out of the way in time as well too. As both these bodies are blown forward and just fall down dying. And there is just a raging fire. Um, oh, coming. Yeah. You, you all sort of get hit by like some of the some of the after effects. Some of the oil sort of burns your skin. Is this one uh, hit by the explosion at all? No, like... no, it, it it wasn't close enough. Okay. But now it can't come through without it, significant damage. Ideal. Yeah, I was about to say, like, it could if it wanted to. Without, it's without dumb. damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so, May, um, are you doing anything else? Um. Um. I am just going to. No, I'm not doing anything else. Okay. I'm not going to move. <laughs> you delight in your victory. <laughs> uh, Tellercos. Uh, I'm kind of badly hurt at this point. Plus, now there's this fire blocking everything. So what I was originally thinking I might do was, before everything was lit, like, jump over here and then use my breath attack to light it from the other side and then get this goblin in on it on top of that. But um, because of how well that turned out instead, I think... I think I'm going to, like... You should walk away. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to retreat back here. I can I'm... definitely heal you on my turn. Yeah, okay. yeah, I How... think... So do I want to go there? Don't get too go far there? from me. Yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll just stick back there and be like, ooh, you know, I'm, I'm hurt, so... Okay. 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 All right, so that's your yeah. turn. Uh, Karen... How dead is the buff one? Pretty dead. I mean, that was a lot of oh. damage he took. <laughs> okay. Oh, so to say, like, I want to take him with us. He was so strong. He held my foot for so long. Um, <laughs> not many people can do that. Do you want me to bring him back to life? No, I don't want him. No. You, you, you could do spare the dying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't waste your spell slots like that. I, I briefly, I briefly, like, kneel down. <laughs> And like close his eyes respectfully. I just like lower his lid. I'm like, what is she doing? I can't tell what's going on. I'm brave, and I I don't know. And I just say, well done, brave warrior. A pity you could not die for a nobler cause. And I walk away. Arms. Well, well, his arms. I tuck him in. Well, so so his arms can't cross all the way because of the lat syndrome he's got. Since since he's like, it's it's sort of like that. It's as close. So so I just I just finally I just let his arms. I lay his arms by his side. Close his eyelids respectfully um i i try to like make his like shirt a little presentable and then i say <laughs> and then i say you know farewell holy shit michelle i, farewell, great I love you God, you're great <laughs> sleep well sweet prince <laughs> sweet angels fly thee to thy rest <laughs> You, the lat prince has fallen. The, the lat like, prince. It's like it's like when you when you defeat an enemy in like a Dark Souls game. It's like yeah. the lat prince has fallen. Oh. Oh man. And then I run away. Okay. All right. And I and I give May a high five. Oh my god, that's too funny! Holy shit, the lat prince. Um. All right. <laughs> All right, so back to the top of the round. Um, oh. Yeah, the goblin, the remaining... Oops, not the box. The remaining goblin and orc. No, stop it, box. Stop the moving. Box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mimic. We know it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do not get near that box. So as you can kind of see it through the fire, um, you see an orc and another goblin... 
and they rush over to it and they start speaking um, in Goblin. Um, for those that can understand it, they they're saying um, there's some intruders in here. Let Vis someone let Vesuvio know. And um, you see this oh. goblin immediately head to the south. Damn it. And hold on. And this goblin is... Something happens. Okay. All right. And Something happens. That's vague. How dare you? And these two... Well, no, they dashed up there, so that's all they can do. Um their turn uh may it is still your turn okay so you can um, you can see them through the flames but it's a little bit hard to see them through it um okay the i guess what i'll the first thing i'll do is um okay corinne have you taken any damage uh, i'm at 17 i've taken 15 points of damage Oh, okay. Wow. So, yeah. So the answer is yes. Okay, so I am going to, um, as an action, you can move up to your speed without provoking opportunity attacks. I'm going to use my Balm of Peace. When you move within five feet of any creature during this action, you can restore 2d6 plus 4 hit points to that creature. Ooh. Damn, okay. Um, so I will do that, and it doesn't of any use any other spells. creature. So, okay, so it's just the one creature. I can do it to myself. Yeah. Um, but I can do it to each of them, right? Yeah, as it, you can move yeah. up without of any other creature you can, to that creature. Is is bomb? Is to me it's reading almost only one. Yeah, hold on. Bomb of peace, multiple targets. Let me just but double it, check. Okay. How many creatures can you heal? As many as you can reach with your speed. Okay, the movement. that makes yeah. sense. All right, yeah. Okay. So you you could do both. Well, so I'm going to do that. So two um, d six plus four. Two d six plus four. Uh, let's see here. I have to fly through. That's this. pretty freaking good. Dang. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have to go through the flames that we just made, and I feel like a. I feel like a. We loser. can fly over them. <laughs> okay, so nine plus four, so it's thirteen. Thirteen so to both of you. So I love that. Damn. Thank you. That's yes. really good. What? Holy crap. Back to max. Oh. And it doesn't use a spell slot. I love that. So uh, that... Us, do you want me to fly you over? Uh, yeah, it might be a good idea. Okay. So um, that was your action. That was my action. And you still have any other bonus action or movement if you want to do... Okay, I am going to, um, as a bonus action, I am going to, no, I, I can't do anything. Wait, I can cast this spell as my bonus action, because that, the, the yeah, bomb that, of that, that wasn't, wasn't a, spell. a spell. No. Okay. Um, oh, but I don't have any first level spell slots. But left. you can use um, a, a second level spell slot if you, for that if you want. Because you have two second level spell slots. I know. I'm so scared. That's okay. You, you don't it's have okay. to. You don't I'm have to. so scared. I just don't know like what else we're going to encounter. Um, <laughs> Presumably Vesuvio, which does not sound great. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and my, my friends are talking about flying over the fire. So I'm just going to go ahead and get on my broom, I guess. Okay. But Your broom not would not be high enough to fly over these flames. Because remember, it can only go up like five feet. Ooh. But it's better than walking over the flames, right? True. Slightly You're better. right. Slightly better. Slightly better. You'll take less damage if you go over it while it's still in I'm flames. not going to move. I'm just going to wait okay. here and just be ready. Okay. All right. So it. then it will go to Tellercos. <laughs> I, I okay. So if the plan I, I, is to let no, Karen no, 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 fly no. you over there, you can like you know ready in action and as she there is, like, drops have them you, come to us. Like. There is something else, oh. and that is us going 
to them. So I'm going to move here because I was like, Karen, that's a good idea, but I am going to move there and okay. I am going to use Breath of the Dragon going with cold this time. Okay. And a cone hitting the fire and the two bozos behind it. Oh, so okay. good. So putting the fire out. Okay. Yeah. Smart. So they smart. smart. All right. So that nice. would be a deck saving throw DC 12 for them and the fire. I don't know how that works. Yes. The fire has a plus 20 to dex. <laughs> oh, no. No. Um, <laughs> all right. So the orc is going to fail. The goblin yes. is going to succeed. So the goblin will take half of 2d4. I, I guess a slightly buff goblin as well. So. That is 2d4. Where's my breath? So that was your ah. action. Two. Oh. So it'll take one. Ow. And the cork will take two. <laughs> the dice betrayed us. They so the, fire the, the fire doesn't go out all the way, but it's definitely lessered from that. Um, That's good. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. it's not burning as bright, but now so the flames are lowered now and now you can clearly see the orc and goblin now as they're right. you know, brushing off this ice that just came at them. Okay, so after I do that I'm going ice. to I'm gonna be like <laughs> Oh and, and say bring it in goblin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Karen. I am not going to wait for them to come to me. I'm going... Okay. I I feel like more people are going to come soon. So I am going to use... I don't know. Should I use my last rage? I feel like I shouldn't. Because this How long does it last? I, a minute. Yeah, I and to get it back it. is a long rest. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like... You know, we know the goblins are chumps. We've killed enough of them. Yeah. So it's just the orc. It's like, eh, save, save the rage, I think. Okay, I'm going to save my rage. I I save my rage. And then I'm going to uh, run Different. forward with my great axe um, and smack this orc. And uh, how much damage do I take from the, 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 the smaller mounts of flame? You'll take one point of fire damage. Oh, okay. no. It's like the kind of fire you get for like making s'mores. It's not much. <laughs> Some sparks spray. The on pilot it a flight's bit. on low. The pilot yeah. light's on low. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna try to hit this uh, orc for with my great axe. Oh. All right, do it. Does an eight? Does oh ten? Does a ten hit? No, a ten will not hit. Oh no. Oh. Let me double check. Yeah, no, it will not hit. Uh, okay, that's fair. All right, and if that's the end of your turn, it will go to the top of the round to those two. So as this goblin and orc, um, this goblin is going to run past the fire. It's going to attempt to try to jump over it since it is low enough. Um, let's see if this goblin is good enough. Oh, he is. Dang, rolled high. Does this, this goblin is... take an attack of opportunity? Does Karen want to take a Vintok attack of opportunity? Oh, heck. That's up to Karen. Oh. Do you want to do you want to preemptively stop this this goblin's <laughs> little attack spree? Michelle? Oh, you're you muted right muted. now. Oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, uh, sorry. What did you say? Do, do you want to take an attack of opportunity from this I'm goblin? I'm going to take that... an attack of opportunity for sure. Okay. Because yes. it just jumped over the fire. Did not 21. Hit. That's going to oh, hit. Okay. All right. Roll your damage. That's definitely going to hit. It's a six. Oh, you're definitely going to kill it. How do you kill this thing? Oh. <laughs> I, I think that Karenna remembers her days playing tennis. <laughs> so oh, no. this goblin soaring overhead and just whacks it. <laughs> just nice. whacks it. Like, and the, and the body sort of goes just over here. Slumps. It just. Uh, you, you, you don't manage to cut it cleanly through, but you manage to like get it in the chest, and it's like. 
So it looks like oh, it has this happy face as it's jumping over the fire, and it's like, ha, 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 and just falls falls back. Yeah, it's either the tennis thing or she like helps coach her little her her like kids soccer team. <laughs> oh no! All right, so that Home orc run. that orc just saw its best buddy get killed, and it's now gonna take its great axe out and try oh. to slash. At Karen here. It's great axe on great axe. Oh, and that's oh, definitely yeah. gonna hit. That's a twenty-three. Bring it. Uh, where's my D twelve? I very rarely ever use a D twelve. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh, uh, nine damage. Can take it. No, okay, it doesn't have to do its bonus action, and that's it for the orc. It's it's pissed. Like this orc just saw its. Buddy, and that was the goblin that uh, May originally put on fire too. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, and oh, that is sick of it. And so, so this this orc has just had enough. Um, that's it for its turn. It's gonna go to May. As you saw, this goblin also try to jump up, and then May just like whack, not in my house. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to, um, jeez, okay, um, I'm going to, let's see, I will, I will cast a spell, I'm going to cast, um, aid, um, your spell bolsters your allies with toughness and resolve. Choose up to three creatures within range. Each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five. Ooh. Amazing. So I can choose three creatures within range. Can I choose myself as one of those creatures? Yes? I think so. Yes, yes. Oh, whoops. I'll say yes. Okay. So we, all of our hit points totals and our hit yes. point max increased by five yes, yes. For, for, for eight hours eight hours yes <gasps> for eight hours amazing now we're buff all of a sudden um, all three of you just start getting like muscles and all event whoa. <laughs> like whoa what the Ooh. heck <laughs> that let me roll it for some reason so there you go oh. it's five there um, you so go that it so, um... That was your action. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit, but obviously, like, I'm not gonna get close to the fire yet. Okay. And that will be it! Alright, tell her ghosts. Alright. Um... So, would Mirth Mirthful Leap get me over the fire without having to worry about damage? Uh, hold on. Let me read Mirthful Leap again. It is your racial I trait. I can't remember to Remake find a... it. Okay, so roll oh. an athletics, and then roll a d8 with that athletics check. Okay. <clears throat> so, athletics... That's 10, and, and then a d8. Oops, that is not... Uh, uh, wait, there you go. Turn that off. Whoops. Oh no! Yeah, there. All right, so seventeen okay, altogether. 17. So you do manage to leap over it without taking any damage, since cool. the fire has gone down. All right, so I'm gonna leap past. I'm gonna end up uh, on this side of the orc, and right. I'm going to smack him with my quarterstaff first. Do it. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I saw the thirteen. Thirteen does hit. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Let's bludgeon for six. Six damage. Okay. All right. So as and... you as you hit him, you hit him on the back because he's facing Karen more than anything. You hit him on the back of the yeah. head, and it's it's a hard blow to the back of his head. Oh. Wait, did I just kill him or no? No, no, just a good hit. Ah. Okay, all right, all right. Because uh, I'm not done hitting him anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, an arm strike. Okay. 
Does a 23 uh, hit? Unfortunately, a 23 mm. does mm, hit. That's some Dark Souls crap right there. All right, right? so for four damage. Just dodges forever. <laughs> oh, no. Four damage? Um, Hold on, let me look at its health. Okay, nope, that does not kill it, but as you as you hit him in the back of the head and then um you punch him in the back of the neck and you hear something crack and then he's like oh. he's holding his neck and he sort of stumbles a little bit and he f- looks like he's struggling to hold his great axe up now oh uh oh does he still have two hands on it cuz he just said he grabbed his neck so yeah he would only have one hand on it right now oh uh, okay 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 just, so just that is the end of Tellercos, unless you want to do any other movement. No, I'm good, right? Actually, um, as a matter of fact, I think I... Uh, hmm. No, 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 because I don't want to deal with an attack of opportunity right now. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So it will go to Karen, your turn. I look at this orc and I say... I know your mother taught you better. Surrender. Join us. Join us and make your parents proud. They wouldn't want you to do something like this. Roll a persuasion. I translate for her. She, She's translating. Just in case. <laughs> All right, persuasion. Yeah. Yeah, that's a seven. It's not much. He's going to look at you and spit at your feet. Oh. (laughs) Whoa. That's... You asked for it. I make an attack with my great (laughs) hat. Do it. Oh, is a 12 going to hit? A 12 will miss. Oh, dang it. I I look at him and I just... I I shake my head in disappointment. (laughs) All right, so on his turn, is going to go back to the top of the round in his turn. He is going to roll to try to hit you with just a one-armed great axe, and it's going to be a disadvantage as he's sort of like holding his neck now. Uh, you can tell he's stumbling a little bit. And... Hold on, will that hit Karen? Actually, no, that will <laughs> just miss because you're 11. He's, yeah, that will just miss Karen there. Um, so as he he, 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 he sort of slashes wildly and you're just, just you know move. just able to move out of the way and he's gonna spit at your feet again and say right? and just say like my mother taught me well enough to kill people like you oh. <laughs> with a really good uh, I don't know about this <laughs> parenting um, and that's going to be it for his turn. It's going to be May. You had really bad parents. <laughs> I'm so <Why>? sorry. <laughs> um. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to try to. Um, let's see. I want to. I want to um, cast. Word of radiance on this thing. I have to be within five feet. So I'm going to. What gonna, are you trying I'm to do? I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm sure me and Telegrass will figure this one out. If you want to just hang Stand out, and here and support. do nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. We have the boss. You... We have the big boss. I just want to make sure I you. Know. If you get past, you That's could though, at so... least peek in here. Like, to, you know, obviously don't run off all the way on your own, but you could go further in to get an idea of what's uh, waiting ahead for us. If you want to like get close to me and get behind me, so you don't like get within melee range. Um, yeah, I definitely at... don't want this thing to attack me. Yeah. So if you want to get behind me, but I also me... have a pretty high armor class. Okay. If you if you want to go for it, then you know, May May is her own woman. <laughs> That's right. Okay. If I want if I want to get over the fire, and like. And like be right here. I'll have you roll an what, athletics. Check. What if I use my broom to fly over, would that be better now that the fire is low? Okay, okay. So if you were to do that um with the broom, I'd have you roll a deck save to see if you take any damage or not. Okay. 
Okay, I will try to do that. All right. A so deck save, you say? Yep. Okay. Um, I rolled a five. You will take a little bit of damage as a flame sort of licks uh, your leg as you're flying over, and you take three damage okay. from it. Um, and then I want, and then I want to try and cast Word of Radiance on this thing. It's a cantrip, so it doesn't use a spell slot. All right, do it. So it is. Oh, it's a con save. It has to has make to... a con save. Yes, it has to roll oh, fourteen. Dang. All right, what is its con? Okay. This orc. A nat one. Ooh. Roll your damage. <laughs> so I'm uttering a divine word, and the divine word is like. Peace. Like, just see. <laughs> oh, no. J oh, just my God. See I rolled a two. I rolled a two. Oh. Yeah, peace. Peace. Oh, is that enough to... Oh, it is not enough to kill it. Okay. Um, so, with that spell, when you hit it... Peace. Um, with the radiant damage it took, it's sort of... You see it go like... Ah! Like, it, it's grabbing its head now. And, um... And it's looking like it, it looks like it can barely hold its great axe up now. It's looking extremely weak. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. All right, tell her, Kos. Can I am? I'm not necessarily uh, interested in doing a killing blow, uh, even though it is like really weakened. Can I like either knock it prone or disarm the orc? You can do a non-lethal blow if that's what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, just in case, get some info from something that um, okay. May and uh, Karen can talk to. So, let me go yeah, so ahead. Do the attack roll. Yep. All right, sixteen. That's gonna hit. All right, mm -hmm. and let's bludgeon it for seven. That is going to knock it out. All right. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to sweep it under the legs to be like, Ugh! my and it quarter is staff. Knocked out. And that is the end of initiative there. Okay. Okay. So are Zach's... we going to talk to this orc? I mean, I, I figured we might want to get some intel before we rush further down the very narrow passage to the who knows what, which also has this Vesuvius guy or whatever, Vesuvio. Yeah. I take a, a length of rope and tie this guy up. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Just just to be careful. Mm -hmm. And then... G give me a uh, sleight of hand check. Okay. Just see how tight this. you get it. Oh, it's a 17. All right, so nope, okay. you, you feel that it is pretty tight as you your knots are pretty good. I do a pretty good job. Okay. I was wondering if we wanted to investigate, uh, quickly investigate this cavern um, over here. Where they were? Yeah. Where they were. It did have a chest that was probably not a mimic, yeah, so. I think sure. so. Or was it? So, I think. <laughs> oh, it was a mimic. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm we should go over, because I want, I, want, I want some reward <laughs> for what right? we just said. I'll try to open one of the boxes. All right, so there was something else um, oh. in, in oh. the boxes. Well, 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 I forgot to mention this other thing. So as you open up those boxes, you see more of the Panacea bottles um, mm. with, with the same uh, ingredient, the thallium. The other mm -hmm. thing that you see um, also is, like, as you, if you were all to start getting them out and smashing them or something, you're going to eventually see what looks like some other bottles that aren't labeled or anything, but they're just labeled cure. Oh. And there's no other ingredients with them. And mm -hmm. I, I look at one of you and I'm like, one of you knows how to do magic. Yeah. Good, right? Can you well, I have pretty high medicine. I have. Could I, like, investigate it and smell mm -hmm. it and look at the color of it or anything because i wonder yeah. if it's magical yeah you if can it's not i have nature so that might help so if you want to investigate the cure bottles um mm -hmm. you can roll um medicine or arcana 
Okay, I'm going to roll medicine because my medicine's really high. Okay. 19. Oh. 22. 22. Nat 20. Nat 20. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, well yeah. B- both of you would be able to figure this out. So as you open up the bottles and sort of smell it, um, there's really no distinct odor or anything. But when you you take a little taste of it and mm-hmm. you all would recognize this as sort of a healing salve. Um, not a salve, like a healing um, drink. Similar to a potion of healing, but it, it's almost the kind of uh, cure that would stabilize you. Not exactly heal you, if that makes sense, like in terms of a oh, potion of healing. Gotcha. Like it stays off death or like something really serious. It's not going to fix everything. Okay. I, I take a couple of these. Yeah. <laughs> How many are there? I say we definitely take there as many are... as we possibly can. So in that one box, there's 16. In the other box, there's 14. And then oh. another 16 in the third box. I'll take two of like them they, as well. So, so like I said, they have the word cure on them. And there's no other ingredients listed, but they do have the in-house dynamics label on them. Um, okay, well, I'm going to try to smash the the bottles with the poison in them and make a pile of the cure bottles. Okay, so as you, I, I want, that. um, May, I, I forgot to have you do this, but, um, I want you to roll an arcana check. Oh. Um, when you take one of the, the poison bottles. Six. Okay. Um, no, n- nothing of notice comes to you as you look at it one more time before you smash it Mm -hmm. somebody can i just make a flat arcana check just to see if i've seen this before sure um do it at disadvantage since you're gonna be um not very familiar with this kind of stuff so Uh, uh, and unfortunately it's nothing comes to mind with you um, at right before you smash some of the poison bottles. Somebody want to check out that chest? I I go over and check out the chest. All right. Um, Uh-oh. I poke it with the javelin, <laughs> and it makes a little dent on the wood. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> and then mouth, then a mouth comes. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't no. attack everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um. Well behaved mimic. The, the, the chest opens up pretty easily, and inside you find five gold and a potion of healing. Okay. And you find a compass and a map. <laughs> oh. No, 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 you don't. Oh, I was about to oh. say, oh, that's awesome. I love maps. Let's, oh, like, okay. Well, no, no, you, you made sort of like a Legend of Zelda sound. Opening oh, yes. The chest. <laughs> yes. You got me all, all like, excited. I know. I'll, I'll take the potion of healing unless one of you wants to take the potion of healing. Yeah, and don't forget they have three charges each. You can hang on to that. You yeah. like. I'm a healer, so you yeah you hold it. All right, so that is all that you find in the room. Um, besides some, you know, belongings of the goblins and and the orc, the nothing Do else I of find value. The belongings of the pr- of the lat prince, like. A bunch of free weights. Oh, Do I find free Actually, weights? yes. Do we have like parents or like a a, boy, a partner that I can like write to? You oh, don't you don't find no. any personal belongings like that, but you do find some um, what looks like he sort of handmade kettlebells out of big rocks. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. There isn't like a picture of his sweetheart. I don't need to send a letter. And his sweetheart Talk. is just himself. <laughs> He's in love with himself. Yeah. Yes. I see. I see this, he, he looks at a, a sketched picture of himself. I mistake it. I'm going to say I, I mistake it for his sweetheart. And I take that picture and I put it in my bag with the oh intent of finding goodness. this person. <laughs> right. so, I, I'm going to see this and be like, you know, that's the same. That's just hit. You know, I'll, I'll, Maybe I'll let her have this. Brother. She needs this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those, um, it's like a Ken Jennings, like, Civil War. 
<laughs> you see, like, dear, I regret to inform you. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. died bravely on the field of battle. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. I love it. I want to take as many of the cure bottles as I can hold. So, so that I, so 16, 14, and 16, that is, um, how many you had? Oh, shoot. You guys don't have the bag of holding. That was. Oh, yeah. Heroes. No. Nope. So. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, so yeah, you'd be able to hold, um, in your bag right now, you'd be able to hold up to about 10 of them. Before okay. it gets too heavy. I'll take ten of them. Okay. Just grab two. Just Okay. Handy them. Alright, what do you wish to do? There's nothing else of um, note in this area. Alright, let's I guess we'll go check on our um knocked out friend over here. Yep. Yeah, let's check on the knocked out friend. Is he still okay. knocked out? So I will say, um, as you all do walk down that way and you're not um, in battle, you're going to be able to see this. Let me reveal this area down south. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. As you do look down that like very tight hallway, um, you do see one of the orcs, or not the orcs, but one of the goblins that looked like it ran down um, is dead. Oh. You don't oh. exactly know why what? unless you got closer. I get closer. <laughs> I, I poke it with a javelin. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Is it a mimic? <laughs> so, uh, roll investigation. Okay. 19. 19, okay. okay. As you're looking at it um, and poking it, you notice it looks like there is a dart in its neck. And that's that's all you can tell, and it just fell flat on its face as it was walking. Uh oh! Which direction huh. did the dart come from? So if it's going down south, it looks it's in its neck, like from the. Hold on, let me. It'd be coming from this way. Huh? So somebody that we didn't see snuck up and. Darted the goblin? I look around and I say, who's there? Roll me a perception check. Uh, Karen? Oh, no. It hovered on the 20 and then it went to the 2. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, you, you don't hear, see anybody or anything? I guess, I guess I'll go up here and see what Corinne's looking at. Yeah, roll a then. perception check. Okay. Squeeze it. Ah! Eight. Come on. Seventeen. All right, so... There we go. (laughs) So as you look up, I mean, you easily see the the dart, but, um, Tyler says you're sort of, like, looking around the ground, maybe even looking a little bit straight forward. I will reveal that in a second. Um, you notice on the wall over here, you can see what looks like a little hole... That looks small enough for a dart to come out of. Oh, and you can see, oh. and you can see right here. Um, there's sort of a step trap that's been triggered. Oh, um, you see the ground slightly raised because it's already been triggered off. So, mm-hmm. the go- the, the goblin in all of its hurry forgot to disarm the trap. Only the penitent can pass. <laughs> And so you all, whoops, let me reveal. So, especially Telercoast, you'd be able to see all that. Oh, okay. Cool. More boxes, more probably boxes. more potions. Mm, love to mm-hmm. see it. Yeah. I think um, I go, I go fr- in front, I guess. Mm-hmm. I continue moving in. Okay. We're kind of following. Mm-hmm. All right, do you want to investigate these boxes, or do you trust that it's just a bunch more potions? I, I feel like we can skip boxes. They're 
probably okay. fine. I'll need to All right, poke so Karen, hold on. So as you oh, no moved, oh. um, I need you to roll a... Watch my traps! Uh -oh. Perception check. We're missing a rogue. <laughs> Nat one. Oh, no! All right. It's very barbarian, um, though. Like, I feel like it's very in barbarian. It's, it's in character. Yeah. It is. All of a sudden, you're going to hear these two darts go... And we're going to see if they hit. All right, one of them definitely misses, but one does hit you in the neck. And uh -oh. we're going to end up taking uh, seven points of damage. Damn. It's okay. Uh, you have the temp HP, so that'll help. Yeah. Yeah, so I... I, um... Let's see. So, yeah, I'm actually down to... 28 which is not bad so i just like i take i yank it out of my neck and i just look at it and i say well i guess that one's down and i just toss it to the side and <laughs> pick, i pick up a potion of healing and i actually take a drink from it okay um and so, after you did that you the the trap just like the other one that teller goes pointed out it's sort of like been sprung already so you like you can step on it again and nothing will no other darts will shoot out because two darts came on either side i walk over and i just jump up and down on top of it <laughs> all right roll me a deck save teller no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> that's what i would i that, would deserve that, that, that that's be that's a beholder check no <laughs> a beholder comes out of the wall <laughs> oh, oh god, god. No. not at level three oh. yeah was it pushing the healing is 2d4 plus four yeah, I just rolled that, and I got eight, and then I okay. kept hitting the wrong button. So I'm nearly at full. I think it's... I, I'm totally fine with just, like, yeah. walking out, because I have such high, high HP. I just walk out, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. Picks darts Karen, out of my okay? neck. are you okay? Oh, there's something totally in your neck. Fine, sweartheart. Oh, that was okay. fine. Yeah, it was just a dart. Killed oh. that other one. I'm made of sterner stuff. I just toss it aside. Oh, No okay. worries. Let's just keep going. <laughs> okay. All right, so as you look straight ahead, uh, Karen and Tellerko, since May's a little bit behind, um, you notice right up ahead, right here, it looks like the cave is starting to go down some more. While oh, over ooh. on the other side, it just looks like it's another hallway mm. going down. Uh, you gonna go that way? I, I, I go down. Yeah, okay. I think so, too. Okay. All right. Um, as you all start descending the cave, uh, it starts to change a little bit here as the loading screen um, uh -oh. has to appear again. Can we take a long rest during the loading screen? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's not the saying you can, but would it be the smartest? Uh... I know. <laughs> We didn't even talk to that orc. We were just like, oh, what's down here? We left him there tied up. The, the, the ADD kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, He's we'll just going to wake later. up and like surrounded by all of his dead brethren in the little... A little bit of fire. Yeah. Some like embers still burning. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm making your tokens right now. Uh-oh. So, hey, there's still stuff to explore down here. Um, So as you all go down... You notice the this part of the cave is starting to look a little bit less natural and more like someone carved into this part of the earth. And oh. all of a sudden, like about maybe three, four minutes down, um, you start to see what looks like to be... Uh, May would be able to easily tell this like dwarven brick that these some dwar dwarven builders here started to put stones here and it looks a little bit more say uh hand built mm -hmm. so, say like more more like an underground dungeon type area as let me switch over the man may your your people did some decent work on this yeah this is dwarven yeah, for sure this is artisanally made hallway Yes, and you can tell that it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely been abandoned for a long time as there is overgrown moss and fungi. 
and all that growing everywhere. There's a fun guy. Where's this yes. guy? <laughs> and um, uh, hello. Is it Vesuvio? <laughs> is he? Is he? Is, is he? This fun guy. I'm here. Vesuvio. I'm here. Come on. <laughs> So you can tell that there are lights uh, along the walls, torches that have been lit in sconces. Ah. Uh -huh. And this is what you see. So as you continue on. Um, We're doing this. As, as you make a right down that hallway, you see it looks like a dead end right there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as you were to look over to your right, or to your left, I mean, um, you see it looks like an open area with Another hallway and another hallway. I know. I love my hallways. I know. Yay, hallways. So uh, hallways. Zuby, I can't move. Oh, dang I, it. We go to Zuby's house bad. one day. Zuby's house is just hallways. There are no bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did see hallway. after the renovation. It is, it's kind of hallway-ish. There, there you go, Baltan. You should be able yes, to. Yes, I can move. I am. Thank you. All right. So, oh, let me change it up on the other screen all right so that's what you see right now just see this big room and like I said, it doesn't look lived in or anything like that it it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time as there's overgrown mm -hmm. you know plants and f fungus and like there, there are torches lit along the walls though as you can see i so. guess we're just gonna stealthily move along Right. Yeah, I just stealthily move along. Is there like anything on this pillar thing, or? Nope, it's um, nope. just a regular pillar. Cool. You see Walking. some. Sounds like some hesitation. I I attack the pillar. It's a mimic. <laughs> no, you poke it with the stick first. <laughs> I've got you all paranoid now with every. Tomoko's just <laughs> love slaps it. things, just walking up to like <laughs> walls and just slapping them. <laughs> all right, so up ahead, you can see a little bit further up ahead, and to the east, you see the hallway expanding out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perception check to, to, to see if there's any, like any re like any details I might notice that might have us go down one path or another. Sure, roll perception. A nine. Okay, that's a nine. Oh, <laughs> this is also going to proceed. Oh, thank you. Yeah. A nat okay. 20 in a May. 20. What's May got? A five. Me, send me the map. Just send me the map, Zuby. So, so, <laughs> just give. Yeah, just give so, the so, Karen and May are checking out this pillar. Like, is this a. Is this a mimic? I'm looking at the dwarven runes. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. I poke various so things with a javelin. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Tellerkos, uh, as you're sort of looking around the room, um, you're probably trying to look for maybe what looks more well-traveled. And yeah, makes sense. you can definitely see there's been people that have traveled up here to the north. Um, and then, but it looks like more well-traveled this way, too. Mm. This is not as much. I'm almost wondering if maybe we want to do this quick detour here. But then head back to this. Like, if I have a feeling this is likely to be some kind of dead end or have stuff in it or maybe a mimic that you actually have to poke with a stick. <laughs> but um, this way is probably, like, the big target if you want to just, like, immediately go for, hopefully, Vesuvia or whatever else is behind all this. I I think we should go straight to the... To Vesuvio. Okay. I just want to smack some sense into this man. I person. mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Vesuvio. smack sensing, or what? Yeah, that that thing. I yes. mean, smack sensing was what you were doing to that pillar, but um. <laughs> yeah. You can do that to but other. let's smack sense some some evil person who's hurting people. We'll go straight to it. Yeah. All right then. Okay, so Just you all smacking people. you all head to the right. Yes, do you want to lead the way? I'll lead the way. All right. So it will cool. reveal. Is that a mo is is that a a crypt? Yes, it is a crypt. <gasps> and you see another passage leading up as well. 
Can I investigate this crypt? Sure. Poke with a stick. It's a giant. 18. Memory. I poke it with a stick. <laughs> um, it is a crypt. And is there it, anything on it? Yeah, <laughs> you, you can see uh, what looks like uh, someone was someone important was buried here, and it, you just see like in memoriam. Um, it one of the captains that once used to hold the citadel. Ooh. Oh, okay. And so you have a little passage up here and mm. another passage going around here. Hmm. Well, which way do y'all think? I I mean, it could just be that they're connected, but... It might go to the same place. Yeah. yeah. But let's this way. Okay. 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 All right, so as you're going there... Give me a Ooh. second. Let me... Do I get hit by a dart again? Yes. <laughs> All the darts. This video jumps out. You see oh. a hallway oh. leading down all the way. We have picked the right way. Ha ha ha. We did. We're going. It's a lot of hallway. All right. Everybody give me a stealth check again. Okay. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. right. Oh, 12. 12. Not okay. Uh, and a five. Hey. Five. Hey, go away. That's a dirty 20, right? Yes. May, 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 may. Um, I'm not may, an adventurer, okay? You are now. <laughs> Uno momento, poor. I don't know how to be quiet in, these, in these situations. I'm like, wow, look mm -hmm. at these runes on the wall. <laughs> hey. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Who lit these torches? <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Hey. yep. Okay, okay. So let me roll some perception. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. All of a sudden, you hear some voices in Elvish. Who knows Elvish? Uh, I do not. Uh, I do not. I do. Okay, so May's the only one since she's the loud one. You hear, you hear an Elvish. Um, someone say. Did you hear that? Uh, someone check around the corner. There may be spies. Mm. Retreat! 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 I dash behind the script. <laughs> yeah, I'm going around. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go over here. I want to see what's what this spot is. Okay. Um, let me reveal that because. The dead end. Oh, there was a chest. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Do you want to no. open it? You I'm going to leave that alone. That's a that's a not people potentially checking on us. Uh, think check. Well, there's nothing bad. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, likely story. Okay. You all don't see this, but Karen, right. from the corner, um, you see a drow elf um, in very similar clothes to what you saw when you investigate after Neros took out some of the other drow in the forest in the same in-house dynamics clothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, give me... Hold on, let me roll a perception check from see if he sees Karen behind the... What's with all these nat ones? Okay, come on. Come yes. on, Dice. He does yeah. not see you. And oh he goodness. does step a little bit forward. Are you all going to do something? or Backing up. Backing up. Um... <laughs> I'm just waiting for <laughs> He's Karen looking around. So, so... I'm going gonna... to back up here. I'm going to see if the drow... Yeah, yeah so, the so, drow so the drow starts to pass us. I'm gonna like try. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, so the, dra the drow walks past around. the walks past you all. I'm gonna yeah. come out here and start a bonfire. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, mate, just wait until he goes back. But sure, if you want to start a bonfire, right here. Wait, are you gonna wait for him to pass back or? Actually, if you put it no. here, this way we can still get out. Like. Wait, where? Like here? 
Okay, hold on. Because that way that y'all can go out and you don't have to get caught up in the flames. Okay. I can't delete it. I can't delete it! Here, let me... There we go. Thank you. Okay, but then I have again? to come... Oh, shoot. Yeah, she has to... But yeah, you have, have to, to be in line to be in right. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, if you want to put it there, you can put it there. Do um, we... Well, the, bon the bonfire doesn't do as much damage as the hot oil exploding. That did way more damage. The bonfire uh, won't be as much damage. Do we just want to take this drow out and then make our way up? Could, or yeah, could we, or like, do we want to try to sneak? Killing? Yeah, do we want to try to like sneak past him and get to whatever else first? Okay, why don't we? Okay, sure. I like the idea of ambushing him. Yeah go with that. All right, roll initiative. And there will be one surprise round. Oh, wow. Five. Are you kidding me? It's <laughs> ten. A zero? Zero. Oh, 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 oh God. God. I don't do anything. Oh, I, I don't do anything. I just stand We there. can't communicate with Corinne because she's so far away. Yeah, we're yeah, like, that's, that's what like it is. Well, well, Corinne can see what's going on. Um, she doesn't know we're telling her to go first. She's just like, what? Tell her Ghost got a 5, May got a 10. Oh, Alright, so so it is going to go um, Karen, what? myself, then Tell her Ghost, and May last. But the drow is under the surprise condition and wouldn't be able to act on its turn. So Why far. would Karen get to go first? So this is a So this is a surprise round. Um, mm -hmm. So we're doing regular initiative, and since Karen got the highest one, I she got a, I got a zero. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops! I got yeah. Karen and <laughs> May mixed up. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So, so it'd be May going first. Uh oh. Oh no, Michelle. Oh, she, that Michelle. that zero initiative. That was just too much. She's like, I'm she's out. like, nope, I'm out. We're <laughs> just <laughs> like. I'm so sorry. Discord just likes to quit on me. That's all right. Of everything, it's just like nope, Michelle. I'm like, I feel it like it so happens around the sa the same time. Like every, every time we've recorded, it happens uh, around the same time. Oh. Like just once. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't. No, know it's all right. It's it, like that. It happens. Okay, so sorry about that. It's May who's going first. My bad. Okay. It's... Great. All right, so um, May, you are first. I'm going first. I, I guess mean, I'll you, just... you've done good smacks oh, with the shoot. stick, though. So. I keep, I am keep making circles. I'm so, okay, um, I don't know if I want to get within melee range of it, though. That's, that's fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, sneak up here. Okay. And, um, I'll just cast Word of Radiance. Oh, wait, I have to be within five yeah, feet. Yeah, you gotta be within five feet. Okay, well, then I might as well hit him. I'm just going to hit him with my staff then. All right, roll f for damage or roll for attack. Ah, nine. God. So I will say you have advantage on him too, since this oh. is a surprise round. Great. Ten. Ten. Unfortunately, that's going to miss. Mm. Awesome. I tried. Um, so you still have movement. It cannot take a reaction as well during okay. the surprise round. Well, then so I'll just gonna, like just back up. You're gonna yeah. smack against like the wall or something, and then just run away. Well, yeah, well, well. Think gonna... about so. So the drow would, you know, obviously feel that May misses and be able to turn around. But this is all happening all at once. It just took him completely by surprise. Um, yeah. So then it would originally be his turn, but he can't do anything. So it'd go to Tellercos. All right. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm gonna hit him with my stick. All right. <laughs> Uh, All right, you have advantage on it. Uh, which is good because that was just an eleven. Net twenty. Oh yes. damn! So double yes. your damage. Yes. Double oh, your right. damage. Let's go. Dang. Ten. Yeah. Ten. So two d six plus three. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. What's his health? Man? Okay. So you rolled a one on your D six. I I did roll one on one of them, but at least I got a six That's on the okay. other. All right, you yeah. still get a bonus action. Um, yeah, bonus action, unarmed strike. 
So you hit him really hard across the face as he turned around. 14. Um, 14. Well, you do get advantage because 14 is going to oh. miss. Oh. Oh, how about 24? 24 oh. will hit. Yes. It's back up. Five damage. So you go, you hit him across the face, and then you go to hit him in the side of the temple, and he falls down, smacking his head against the wall, and falls down dead. <laughs> and then, uh, Karen just kind of peeks. <laughs> she actually like rushes out and like tries to tackle him, like a linebacker. <laughs> and she tackles dead. him. And he's already dead. And I was like, oh, no, I didn't think I hit him that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 know, no, you, you didn't, but like good hustle. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. All right. I get up and I say, "Okay, well, I guess we can keep going." Yeah, that's the end of initiative there. Well, Ooh. they 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 definitely heard us. They sent somebody out here, so I guess we keep going. But they only set one and. I, I I like I'm I'm liking our odds a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna go. move I'm gonna move closer. I'm I'm gonna try to be much more quiet this time. All right, everybody, or tell her Kosi you going to. You are yes, no longer I astonished am. by torches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, everybody, so... roll stealth. Oh. Five, a nine, and a seven. <laughs> Good oh. We're so bad at this. We're the worst. We. All right. Oh man, I wish we had a rogue <laughs> or a druid. Someone oh, who no. can cast oh. pass without trace. Let's roll initiative here. Oh. And then roll initiative again. Oh, that's a that's a different one. That's not. Uh -oh. All right, come on. And they're all so the 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 two that look the same. Uh, they are all in in house dynamic robes, and this one mm -hmm. up here is in more fancier wizard robes yeah that's and, what i figured and we're, and we're just in a straight hallway easy right. line of sight uh, oh. Ooh, they're probably... oh hell yeah bring it i'm at a four but bring oh three i think my yeah i think i rolled a three or something right. like that i rolled a 20 so i i i oh. rolled a 19 and got a dirty 20. okay so let me look at your decks okay so their decks is a bit higher so they will Ooh. be going first. We'll boot that. So, uh, Karen three and Telercos twelve. So it will be the Drows, and then May, then Telercos, and Karen last. So, um, in Elvish, you hear them speak. Um, what are they saying? The, May? These are the spies. Kill them now. That's it. They're you... trying to kill us. All right. So on their turn, you see um, this one walk back into the shadows. Oh, I need to move the screen because I'm really bad at this. All right. Oh, you for the recording dick. screen. So that one moves back, and then this one's gonna rush up to Karen. Bring it on. And is gonna take out its short sword and try to stab you. Oh, that missed the. Yes, nope. It that missed. is gonna miss. Um, yes. And then the other one, the other one actually is going to. All of you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, um, I have advantage. Okay. Is this against a spell? Yes, it is against a spell. Okay, because I do have advantage against thirteen spells. Okay, Karen, you succeeded. So that was a twelve. I got a twelve. Okay, twelve it is. Tell Tellerco succeeded, and what did May get? Five. Five. All right. So this one, uh, sort of whispers a little bit as it goes, and um, you just hear it speak in Elvish, um, and whispers and, and says out loud, uh, "May you all be seen." And only May, you are suddenly covered in flames, but they're not burning or anything. But you were burnt. You're very, very, very bright looking in this like purplish fire surrounding you. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. As this one is going to stay back and take out its hand crossbow. 
Um, it will then move on to May. It is your turn. Hey. Um. Oh, I need to change to battle music right now. Boom, boom, I, boom, boom, boom. I will step up and try to hit this one with my quarter staff. All right, do it. I rolled a nat one. Oh, you completely miss. It's the fu the fire that's surrounding you that's not burning you for some reason just really distracted you as you ran up to that drow. Um, and then I will I will use um, as a bonus action I will use my harness divine power to regain one spell slot. Ooh, well that's a bonus action of yours. Yes, it is. That's awesome. Oh, but yeah. I am, like, just so out of everything. <laughs> I mean, it's... Ooh, Sketchville. Um, that's all right. And that's it. That's all. That's all I got. All right. Um, after May, it is your turn, Tellercos. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to have to take the attack of opportunity, because I'm going to rush up here against this drow. Okay, so as you do that, you're also able to easily see um, uh -oh. this area as well, too. And what's oh. laying on top of this crypt here are parts of the statue. <gasps> and, a oh. and a portal um, Are they just, well like, too. sticking bits of it through this portal? <laughs> just, like... <laughs> oh, how do I fill it in? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to worry about trying to fill it in, but you see that, that black square, that's where there's portal... And the whole statue is in there, but you can see it's been cut up. Um, you were right. So the drow that in you pieces. ran by is going to try to stab you as you run away. And I'm oh, pretty Kidoki. sure that's going to hit an 18 on dice. Is gonna yeah, hit. that hits. And that is going to be for uh, seven damage Good as it hits you. Okay. Well, that's uh -huh. cool because... I have all that temp injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Well, not anymore, but I did. Uh, all right. Hey, so it, it, it helped you. It definitely did. Thank you, May. That's um, a spell. It is. So I am going to smack the crap out of this drow. Do it. Uh, let's it get moss. I think 19 hits. 19 will hit. Cool. Yes. And roll uh, for damage. Right. Huh. As you smack him, eight damage. Dang, that damage. that's gonna hit him hard. All right, and then I will. Hmm. I think. You also oh, have bonus action. Actually, yeah, I do. So I can do. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna to use a key point to across, uh, across the face. Yeah, I'm 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 spending the key point to do flurry of blows. Do it. <laughs> Roll two attacks. Eleven will miss. Okay. Yeah. And seventeen, 17 will hit. All right. All right. And that is gonna be for six, six points of damage. Um, hold on. Does that take them out? Yes, it does. So how do you want to kill um, this one? I mean, it's your second drow in a row. <laughs> I'm going to crack his head against the wall. Just be like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm sick of this crap. Like, we've been right. gunning for Vesuvio this whole time. I'm assuming that's Vesuvio. Like, get out of my way, you know, small time drow. All right, so as you go and smash his head up against the wall and he falls down, May, you are no longer covered in flames. You're muted if you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The flames are gone. Yay. Yeah, All right. Hey. Let's... Um, yeah, I think that's... And I'm actually, after doing that, I'm going to pop back here. I should have enough movement to do that. So I'm not just, like, you staring should... Vesuvio in the face. Yeah, I'm good. I don't know. I feel like you should get to Vesuvio and start solving him up or, or are you worried? 
because uh, like if this guy this guy looks more wizardly and i'm just gonna be like standing there like oh yeah let me take like i don't know how yeah that's well i'm gonna be able that's to fair. actually no because i have advantage yeah i will i'll okay. be like yeah gonna get a little bit closer all right yeah i see what you're doing Let's what's see. your deal here what do you do with the statue uh power word kill no <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that mean as a DM. <laughs> you can't do not that. that mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. I may make you all paranoid with chess now, but <laughs> No, um <laughs> Karen, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to um smack this drow. Do Real... it. Actually, I'm going to rage. I am finally going it's to rage. Time. We have seen it the big time. bad. It's time. <laughs> yes, so I look at I look at the drow and I say I I'm not angry, I'm just really disappointed in you. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Doesn't some don't you have a new thing with your when you rage? Oh right, right, right. I forgot to um so now that I have um now that I have chosen a primal path, I have chosen Path of the Ancestral Guardian. While mm -hmm. raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against you, and when the target hits a creature other than you, that creature has resistance to the damage dealt by the attack. So you're Ooh, good as long as you hang nice. out with anything. Oh, okay. nice. um, I'm also going to make uh, a reckless attack on this guy. Do it! Ooh. Do it! So, I hate this draft. So roll to see if you hit. Right, nine. Okay, uh, was the first nine? No, no, then... roll again. Eleven. Eleven. Oh. Unfortunately, that's gonna miss. Oh, no. <laughs> Too so blinded bad. by rage. Oh, so angry. Old story. So that is, unless you want to move, that's gonna be the end of your turn. Uh no, that's the end of my turn. All right, so it's gonna go to the top of the round. Um, this drow looking at you as it's raging, so. Yeah, because since you didn't make an, you didn't hit them, they don't have. So, so they will have advantage on you since you did reckless attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but it, it will... has disadvantage on. Okay, right. No, never mind. It's all good. Yeah, it's it, they only get it's disadvantage. On anyone else? Yeah, yeah. That's mm. totally cool. Yeah, so it's it's gonna have advantage as it's gonna try to stab you with its sword. I really wish I could show you a camera right now. Of, of my dice, because I rolled two threes. <laughs> oh, my god! Yes! Alright, it, it's just gonna miss, and it is gonna attempt it to... It is very psyched out by my words. <laughs> it is going to attempt to back up here. We're all oh, just I'm so going far. to do... If it backs oh. up... So, I so both of it. you will get attack of opportunity. So yeah, yes. uh, Karen first. That's an 18. 18 will hit. Roll your damage. Okay. And then... Uh, may roll for to see if you hit. That's nine. nine. Oof. As it turns around to run away, you get it in its back with your Matt rabbit. 20, baby. Oh my yes. god. It's 24. Roll for you damage. Back. <laughs> Six, Six damage. Um, hold on. So as you slash it, and then. Wait, did you double your damage? Because. Yes. Yeah. You crit? Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you slash it in the back of the May, you bonk it on the back of a head. Um, like before with previous goblins, that bonk on the head caused it to take a few steps forward and then fall down. <laughs> You're not Sleepy, going anywhere. It's like that Kill Bill scene again. with like the, the five, the five, like, yeah. palm exploding, mm -hmm. heart exploding technique. Yeah. It's like you bonk him on the head and he just goes... Like, <laughs> All right. So it's going to be Vesuvio's turn. He's going to turn yeah. around. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Was it my turn? No, 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 no. It, it was their turn. It made it, it, it tried to make an attack against a uh, Karen and then ran away. And then you okay. two did That's attack. Right, of so Vesuvio is going to turn around and look at the satyr and uh -oh. say, yeah. are you approaching me? I think I am. <laughs> You're going to see him. So, so, so it looks like there's this magical spell that sort of, surrounding the statue here and this portal that's right in front of it 
um, he's going to turn around and then look at you and then point his fingers at you as... Oh, no, power kill! No, 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 no. <laughs> as these four darts come and hit you right away as he casts oh. Magic Missile. Magic Missile. Oh! Oh! So... Do you have something against that? You're gonna, you're gonna drop, <laughs> I have drop some deflect missiles. missiles. No, that, it, can... that is only for physical arrows. It cannot oh. do magic oh, missile. It's not for me. No, 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 it is only. You... Trust me, I've tried to get away f- with that, but. Oh, <laughs> you got my hopes up. So I was just like, oh, yes, this attack you, was. You try to grab me. it, and it just, it just hurts you. <laughs> so Go through. Yeah. Okay, Fine. so. So I, 10, 11, 12, um, you were gonna take thirteen points of force damage as four missiles okay, hit you. Okay, so I don't, right I don't roll any save no. or anything for magic missile. It, it oh. just automatically hits. Ouchies! Oh, and you said thirteen. Yep. Okay, I am hurting, very bad. Okay. And he goes to walk around and right next to the portal, and he oh. says, "You come any closer." And next time, it'll be more missiles coming at you and your friends. And that's going to be Bring the end on. of his turn. Um, May. Freaking killer uh, May here, giving uh, peace to everybody. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am going to... I've got to do some heals, I guess. So I can only do. I'm fine. I'm at 36. Go to yeah. the of tele. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I can't do the run past you thing again because I can only do a channel divinity once per short rest. That's totally fine. Ooh, go, Tellercoast go, go, looks go really weak right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run. Tellercoast is bad. I'm gonna run up here so that I can see Tellercoast. And then I will cast, let me see what I have. What would be the most helpful? Um, I guess I will do, I guess I'll do a second level cure wounds. Oh, thank you. Um, so I will roll. Okay, yep, roll it. So, so you have to be right next to Tellercoast in order to do it, because you got to be... That's within touch range. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so it's um, 11. Okay. That helps So as, as you do and go that and touch Tellercoast to, to cure him, you hear Vesuvio speak in Elvish, Ah, so you're the healer. I'll take you out first. I don't have any spell slots left. Let me alone. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that <laughs> I mean maybe, maybe she's out. just psyching him out like I don't know. <laughs> anything else May? no that's it alright tell her Coast, it's your turn oh wait yeah. oh what oh oh, oh it's, it's oh I, I'm last right okay. yeah uh, uh, so um tell Coast is gonna do the incredibly smart thing and Attack with the quarter staff. Roll Let's to see. Yeah. Thirteen hit. Thirteen. So as you go to try to hit him, mm-hmm. you see him all of a sudden as a reaction cast a shield, a magical shield that as you hit with the quarter staff, it just bonks this magical shield, oh, and it can't uh, get through it. Okay. Um. Flurry of blows. Sure. All this right. should be your last one, right? Yes. I'll be out of... Worth it. it. Yeah. 16 to hit and uh, 6 to hit. Well, 6 will miss and then, um, yeah, the 16 oh. will miss as well. As the oh. 16, they both hit this, like, magical shield that just cannot penetrate. Um, and Vesuvio just sort of... Like laughs in your face. Okay, yeah, fuck you. Oh. Unarmed strike. <laughs> well, no, you, cool. you, you, you already. <laughs> Even though you can't do that, it's still miss. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Yeah, because because you already that. did flurry of blows. I did one bonus action. I can't do two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Uh, okay. Uh, 
And you doing anything else? Stick. Um. Uh, I can't use a key point to disengage, so... Well, I, I will help you out a little bit. You already used a reaction. You only get one reaction around. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, Shield okay. was his reaction. So... Uh, so you still got, what, like 25? Oh, yeah, 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 I got plenty. Yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll hop my little satyr butt back over here. Be All like, right. ah, just glaring at him. All right, it's going to go to shield. May. Or, no. It's, oh, no, May, um... Karen. I, I don't know. Ah, sorry, Michelle. <laughs> just just give like, her to Karen. I, I guess we're doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I meant Karen. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I'm, like, looking at Karen's token. <laughs> God, he cast shield, right? So... So uh, Karen doesn't know that. Oh, I don't know that. Okay, yeah. well, in that case, I'm going to run up here. I'm going to throw a hand axe at him. Okay. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Roll to see if you hit. Yeah. 12, I imagine, does Tw not 12, hit. it will hit him, but it'll bounce off his shield. And you'll see that, like, shield sort of shimmer. Because uh... you, you had straight aim, straight shot, but it just bounced. Mm. Mm. So, so annoying. Okay, well that was a ranged weapon. I can't do anything else. I just, I, I just hiss at him. <laughs> All right, it's gonna go back to the top of the round. He is gonna look at you all, and he's gonna ask you all a question. What did you think you all were gonna accomplish by coming here? Defeating in-house dynamics? Do you not know how strong and powerful we are? You little vermin and mice? I thought I was related to goats. I don't remember being vermin. To wash your mouth out with the soap. <laughs> Push him in the portal. No. Oh. <laughs> he is just gonna... He, he's definitely looking down at you all and just thinks nothing of you all. And he is going to, again, cast Magic Missile towards Karen just to sort of... He, two of them's going to hit Karen and two are going to hit May. Oh, no. So these will be automatic. So Bring the, it on. The two that hit... Uh, for Karen, oh god, that's a one. Okay, so three, four, five. So five damage to Karen. Okay, it's fine. And then for May, seven damage to May. Uh. And he says again, I urge you all to stop if you value your life. And it will go on to May, your turn. Um, I'm going to tell him in-house dynamics is poisoning people. We're not going to stop. Of course we are. How do you think we make money? Well, we sell we're... the poison and then we sell the cure. Well, we aren't going to stop. And, um, I will, how, how, I saw the shield, I saw the shield happening. Um, so I can use my word of radiance and try to do a little bit of damage. He'll have to make a con save. Okay. So word of radiance is oh, you, you have to be right next to him though. Five feet, yeah. Yeah. I can get right. I'll just get right in front of him. Okay. So what does he got to do? A con save? Yes. He has to roll a fourteen. A nineteen. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So that's <laughs> it. That's my turn. All right, uh, Balton or Tellercos. Um, 
Um, hmm. I, man, this would be a great time to have had experience as a mage and know how the heck shield works. Like how, like... I know, it. right? How long does it last? Yeah. Well, I, I, I think that much at least, like, it's done, but, like, how often you can recast it or whatever. So I'm going to go over here and... Um... I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take one of the. No, 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 no. I will. What does Telercos do? What will Telercos do? Um, WWTD. Um. Back him. Can I? I mean, you could like sort of get on here. Yeah, I was thinking that it was like either that him. or seeing if there's like a weird way I could get behind him, but it's kind of cramped back there. Yeah, let me go ahead and jump over here okay. and um. I'll try uh, quarterstaff again. All right. Roll to see if you hit. 19. 19 will hit. Oh, my Oops. goodness. Seven damage. So as you go to hit him across the face, it looks like he barely nudges and just sort of looks up at you. Says that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. Cool. I'm Got going to. Action. Yeah, I'm gonna go, go ahead and um. Unarmed strike. Twelve. Twelve will miss. Unfortunately. Okay. He's a little bit um, too. You're a little bit too high up to try to hit him properly yeah. after smacking him with the quarter staff. <laughs> and he just sort of smirks at you and laughs. Are you staying where oh. you're at, or? Um. Because it's... I'll, um... Yeah, because it was like 30 feet there, then you still have 15 feet, so you could... Yeah, so here. I'll hop back over here. Okay, so... As a reaction... No, he's not gonna... You're not worth his reaction. Oh, okay. You're not worth his reaction. <laughs> I, I really want to see this dude dead. He wants All to right. see this shield as a reaction. All right, so Karen. Yeah. All right, I'm going to um, get in his face. All right, so you'd have to him. you'd have to get up here a little bit since May May you'd have to g okay, get up I'm to up like here. where yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit him. Hopefully, All right, with my great axe. Do it. You do a reckless attack or normal? I'm gonna do a reckless attack. Okay, yeah, because an eleven will not hit. But a 24 will. 24 will Ooh. definitely hit. Ooh. Don't forget your rage damage as well, too. Uh, 13. Let's see. Plus 2 melee damage. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's a 15. 15? Ooh. Okay. So, uh, oh my god, math, 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 math. Okay. Yeah. All right, so as you hit him, you know, he's sort of taking a step back a little bit. Because, like, the, the, how fast you hit him, like, even his shield wouldn't have been able to stop that. Um, you know, you gash him across his chest and he's bleeding out a little bit. And he's like, oof, I haven't felt this excited in a long time. <laughs> oh, oh, so, so like, na na now you're... A, I exchange you're, a look with May when he says it, like, just like... Ugh. <laughs> um, th so the ancestral protection will also kick in as well, too. Yeah. Oh, no. oh hell yeah. Very so nice. May he can't attack you um, unless he has disadvantage. 
Yeah, right. so what happens when my ancestral guardians come out? They're not actually my ancestors. They're my favorite characters from all of the Christopher Stoll books. <laughs> so you see these, like, really rippled, handsome, like, elves and bosomy, like, half-orcs and orc women <laughs> just, like, coming out of the novels with their hair just flowing in a ghostly wind. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure what the wizard makes of that, but that's what they look like. <laughs> Red ancestors. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is it called? Um, there we go. All right, so that was the end of your turn. You're staying there. So on its turn, it's gonna then um, take a look at take a look at its surroundings and realize it's kind of cornered here. Um, hmm. I need to measure. So, oh, it's. Oh, I think rude. it's just gonna miss. Right? Yeah, it's just gonna miss Teller Coast. Okay. <laughs> so it is gonna hold out its hands in this kind of motion as fire just exudes from them, and both May and Karen need to make a dexterity saving throw. As it casts Burning Hands. Thirteen. Thirteen will fail. Oh, oh. manage. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen will oh, succeed, so you'll take half damage. Um, Ooh, so that, that is one. gonna be... Danger Sense is so great. <laughs> oh, not too bad. So it'll be 12 damage altogether, so half that will be 6. Not bad. So I'm taking 12 damage. Yes, since you failed. No. Does the Ancestors thing help with that? It's only against was... melee attacks. Oh. Mm. Okay. Oh, man. And then as a bonus... No, he can't do that as a bonus action. Never mind, because he already cast the spell. I was going to try to be sneaky and do a misty step, but I can't. Oh. Um, yeah, that's it for its turn. He is done. So, May, you are burned, and from what I'm looking at your character sheet, you're looking pretty dang hurt right now. Yeah. Can I pick up any of these pieces of the statue off this thing? And yeah. carry yeah. them? Yeah, what are you planning on doing? I'm just gonna pick up a piece and run away as far as I can. Okay. Um. Let me see. How far can I go? Because he what is, is gonna movement? take an attack of opportunity if he does that. Your movement is 25 feet. Oh, 25. So he will have disadvantage as he sneaks out a dagger and tries to stab May in the back. Okay. You know the wizard's desperate when he's trying a melee attack. Ooh. Right? Um, that might still hit, even at disadvantage. No. Um, yeah, that's a dirty 20, even at oh. disadvantage. Ouch. Yes. And you will end up taking five points of damage. Ooh. Yes. Wait, wait, hold on. Isn't there something where that creature, when the target hits a creature other than you, that creature... So you'd have resistance to it, so you would take... Yeah, you have resistance to it. So that. you would take half, you would take two. Um, oh, okay. A whole bunch of, like, okay. really attractive, like, male <laughs> elves and humans and orcs just, like, wow. do a pose yes. in front of you. <laughs> what is oh, happening? Oh, man. <laughs> it looks like a scene out of Magic Mike. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I was just gonna say, did Jojo Wall just save me uh, from Jojo damage? Jojo Wall did just save me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, May. That is the end of your turn. Tell her, Coast. You just saw May and Karen get badly burned, and May stabbed a little bit, but protected I... by Karen's uh, storybook characters, <laughs> ancestral yeah. guardians. It's a very PG way of describing them. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I... <laughs> I am for kids. going to. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, me. We curse too much. Go, yeah. Um. Telekos is going to 
take a piece of the statue as well and then just stash it in like his bag it's gonna be too big and oh the, they're all too big yeah. there's no so, like, so may's chunks. like holding it with uh two hands right now like just carrying it it's too big to put in a bag uh, okay. like you, you'd have to spend the turn like just trying to chisel off like a piece yeah i'm not done. that's what you'd have to do okay. yeah mm. unless you want to hit him with it I yeah, that, that's no. what I thought May was I mean, doing. To be honest, I, mean, I was, <laughs> just I was thinking smash. about it. Just like, <laughs> is there a way I can see if that if this, the broken statue still has its protective magic? You'd have to roll an Arcana check at disadvantage since you're in the middle of a battle. Well, I got attacked while holding it, so. That's true. That's I'm true. No. Yeah, yeah probably we're not. All that. Like, okay hitting each other right now so I'm probably not all right so um okay so i'm going to take may's spot and i'm going with the quarter staff yet again all right nat 20 nat 20 oh roll damage hey. nice That's uh, 11. Ooh. 11 damage. Nice. So you hit him. Um, he was attempting to almost cast a shield, and then it didn't even matter. He just, poof, you really smacked yeah. him good against across the face. And he's, yeah. his, his like face is all bloodied, and you know the, the gash across his chest is still kind of bleeding. He's like, all right, so I can tell that you, you both are a little bit serious here. Okay. Oh, just a bit, just a bit. You still I'm got your bonus do... action. Yeah, I'm going for it. Let's see. And you roll eighteen. A... Eighteen will hit. Oh heck yeah! Six damage. Six damage. All right. You punch him in the gut, and he sort of kills over a little bit. Like, <gasps> <gasps> oh, that was, oh, that was good. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. All right. <clears throat> you doing anything else, or you're staying? Um, I'm hopping back again. All right. Um, he already used his reaction against May, so yeah, can't do anything yeah. else. Um, Karen. I'm going to um hit him again. I'm gonna do reckless, reckless attack. Okay. Awesome. So advantage. Oh, come on, Karen, save us. Does a 15 hit? 15 does hit. He can't do shield since he already yes. used the reaction. Okay, that's a 7. 7 and the rage damage? Oh, uh, with 9. Together, so nine. that's 9. Okay. Nice. So you hit him again. Um, this time you get him right in the neck here and just slide it off as, as you're just raging and your ancestral guardians you've got your like himbos behind you like <laughs> ah, yeah <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah take that bitch <laughs> Love it. no it's, it's less that more just like yes that was beautiful no because they're romance novel oh yeah that's right it's like oh like, that was so beautiful karen you were the best <laughs> oh. yeah, your strength you is breathtaking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, all right, all right. So are you moving or staying where you're at? I am staying there, and I'm continuing to wail on this person. So as you wailed on him that last time, okay, um, you notice um, at the top of the round, the portal will disappear, and yeah. any kind of magical energy emanating from the statue here is disappeared. Um the Vesuvio sort of looks around and he's like well I must say you all are a little bit stronger than I thought till we meet again and then he's going to cast a spell instantaneously um alright so he will have four turns no. and <gasps> Yeah, he's able to easily. All right. 
So all of a sudden, as he says that, he's like, till we meet again, he just disappeared right in front of your eyes. Oh. And there are parts of the statue missing from right behind you as well, too. As he casts no. time stop, stop time for a little bit, and then teleport it ah. away. And that is where we will end initiative here. Uh, Am I still holding a piece of the statue? Yes, you are. Yeah. Got my piece. I'm so <laughs> angry. I'm still so angry. My ancestral guard, my ancestral spirit, like himbos are like comforting me. <laughs> trying to oh. get me <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, rat got away. So so close. Wow. Okay. So do we think he got part of the? There's part of the statue missing. So it seems like he got part of the statue through the the portal. That's what you can assume. Okay. Oh goodness. Who I don't know about y'all, but I am exhausted and almost dead so uh yeah definitely we, get you we, one of those potions oh, well, I, I, I give you a potion <laughs> and you can drink it if you okay like. thank you um i guess we don't e i guess we don't even know if we could stay here because we don't know if these caverns are actually empty entirely yeah, no, Besides that one here. orc. Yeah. Well, I just yeah. worry about leaving the... Well, there is the other unconscious statue. orc as well, too. Yeah, from the right. stairs. Mm -hmm. we, so we cannot bring oh. all this with us, right? No, nah, it's too big. You'd have to chisel them up and... Could we just each, like, carry a piece that's one of the smaller pieces? So at least we have part of the statue with us so we know you it could. can't be taken and put together somewhere else? So I want, um may just may to roll an arcana check okay 18 18 so as you all are gathering near the statue like really trying to come to terms with what just happened in the close battle um that just occurred as you take a look at the statue you no longer feel any magical presence from mistra on the statue. It's almost as if it's been drained away of its essence. Oh. Because no the point. portal okay. that was draining it. So as you all start to gather around and try to figure out what your next steps are, that's where we're going to end it for tonight. Uh, <sighs> I knew that was coming. All of the, It, it, all it is of... getting a little bit late, but also some other good news, since I thought maybe this is going to last one more session, um, but it's it's okay. It's okay. That, that's why I love D&D. &D. Um, you all will level up to level four after this one, too. Oh, oh. heck yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. I love it. <laughs> we got there. We killed so many people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did. We really did. So I hope you all enjoyed that session. That was um, a lot yeah. of fun. You found, found out some more information about in-house dynamics, and especially May found out that they're not only selling the poison, but they're selling the cure as well, too. It's, that's diabolical. Thick move. It's Terrible. everywhere. It is. It is because what you saw, Karen, um, you only saw some of the basic, basic essential oils. They hadn't. These had not come out over on the other continent where you're from. Mm. This is even worse. It's like even worse than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing these things, I think Karen is so so angry and so upset well we'll see what you all do next time on DD &E, the price of progress i just want to thank my players again for being as awesome um i hope you all enjoyed this and i hope the viewers and listeners are enjoying this too it's been you guys are just too much fun to play with um it's been <laughs> it's, it's been oh. hilarious <laughs> yes thank you zuby that was yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you zuby this has been a delight I'm Good so DMing, bad rolls, all of the best we can ask for. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I so managed to hit you all some, you know. He yeah, did a bit, yeah. yeah. Did. But Silvio did a lot of heavy lifting, though. Uh -huh. He did, he did. But he was also kind of cornered. Like, he probably could have killed <laughs> one or two of you, but also he would have died himself. 
because mm-hmm. <laughs> he was very close. I oh, I was wow. looking at him and just like, I I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm gonna mm-hmm. get you. Yeah, you you all <laughs> got him more than halfway down. It was so Man. that that's why yeah. he decided he's like, nope, I'm stopping time, and he's like, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out. Because even just though he's kidding. a powerful wizard, you know wizards don't have a lot of health. Right. Yeah. And, and you all took care of his minions way too easily. Which I also rolled yeah. really pe- poorly for him. But that's another story. <laughs> um, but that's okay. So uh, we'll wrap it up here tonight. Uh, and then I can't wait to see what you all do. Don't forget to level up to level four. And oh, I got a, I got a next feat time. in mind Ooh. for you, Vesuvio. Nice. Oh. And then we'll see what happens next time on Price of Progress. Have a good night, everybody. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.